Welcome to Wednesday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, where we play new games, very new games, on classic consoles. Especially new today. Really, I think the, really new. I it's think the newest the, ever, probably. Yeah, I don't think we've played a newer game than today, man. Because nobody's played it. Not even me. I don't even know what it is. It's so new. Yeah, we have no idea. This and, is this uh, is the most suspense I've felt in a while. Since, oh, yeah. Since the award show. <laughs> but, the, but, yeah. the, but the award is not that we have to do a long award show and then go yeah. have some food. It's that we get to play a game. It's like, it's yes, even better. It is. It's a great reward. It's <laughs> wonderful. And I know why you're all here. It's because we get to reveal Champ Games' new secret homebrew game That's right. that nobody knows about except for the developers. Yeah, James doesn't know. I, no. I, I actually, I, I, I poked him all morning being like, are you sure you don't know? Did you find out? Because <laughs> no. James always knows a little more than I do on most things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was like, I'm sure that he knows. But no, this is a surprise for both of us, which is like unusual. Normally James has got the... Yeah, I know all the details. Like I usually do a lot of prep for the show. I get background information That's about right. the developer how big the game is you know when it was starting to be developed how many games pe the person is the developers made everything you know and but this one i only know who made it yeah <laughs> and it's john champo from champ games who is in the chat right now and the way this is going to work oh yeah this is, neat. is that he sent me the game last night or this morning and I got it this morning, tested it out, make sure it booted up. But the game, I can't get to the game Ooh. because there's a password on it. <laughs> so it's it's locked down until Johnny, John, Johnny WC, John Champo types the password in to the chat. And I did I did think it was gonna be ZPH. Or zero zero page homebrew, right? And he just put that in there i don't know if that is the actual oh, password I think so. but I, we'll see we'll that's see that's too obvious is it too obvious oh uh, well you never know man yeah well we'll see um so if you're watching not watching this in 60 frames a second you should be watching in the 60 yeah, man, frames a really second that's really important you're only seeing half of it it's it's a scan line issue it's it's yep. literally like definitely watch it in 60 yes because you you'll be missing half the show and i'm yeah. and usually these uh these games that push the limits of what the Atari 2600 can do use the flicker to put more sprites on the screen yeah. because the Atari only has two. Our faces will be fine. It's the games. <laughs> yes, ours don't flicker. Issue. It's all good. And we got lots of people in yeah, the chat. Yeah, so many people, dude. Um, but before we get to that, of course, we're going to be playing Champ Games' mm -hmm. new secret homebrew, which is 2019 Today um, by John Champo of Champ Games. We're going to be playing Shield Shifter by Neuronic. This is from 2009. And also The Horde from 2017 by Jared Gray West. Oh, is that like a zombie... We will see. It sounds like it. I feel like the, I mean, <laughs> hordes of zombies is yeah, like in the lexicon. It's associated, of... <laughs> usually associated with zombies, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. What other What are there hordes of that are not zombies? Hordes of Vikings. Yeah, maybe hordes, hordes of, of, of of bison. I don't know. <laughs> screaming teenagers. <laughs> yeah, hordes of screaming teenagers, <laughs> which are basically Going zombies after anyways. for their pop star well. I icon. <laughs> um, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers: uh, Charles and Check, Gretem's Ground Trooper, Ice Boasted, Johnny WC Twenty Three, Mister Fix, RC Seventy, Retro Happy Hour, Spiceware, S Ramirez Two Thousand Eight, and Tiki Dan K. And you can support the show and subscribe for free, too, if you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe. And all the people in the chat, I want to thank them for coming out yeah, today. Yeah, so many people already. Oh, Arena Foot, Impaler26, I supposed to, Militant Buddhist, uh, Ground Trooper, Ground Impaler, Trooper, Nathan, Nathan Strom, VHZC, S. Ramirez, M. Sir Dan, Cat Legs. I haven't Sir heard... Cat Legs, that's a new one. That's a new one, hey. Uh, Johnny WC23, of course. That's right. Uh, uh, Arena Foot, do we say that? Spiceware, Nathan Strum. Nathan Strum does graphics for everyone. That's right. Uh, amazing graphic artist for 2600. Uh, let's see who else. I think we covered just about every bear. Oh, yes, I will get to that Spiceware. Yeah. Um, uh, so, I, first of all, um, I put out the question a couple of days ago for guesses. Oh, Dan of, AVC. Dan AVC. Sorry, Sorry, buddy. There's a lot of names. They're not in order. And, oh. and also, I want to say hi to everyone who's watching but not typing. That's right. They're lurking. 
you know, hanging in the background, nothing to say. They're just waiting. Um, but I put out the question for people to guess oh. what the game is. And we have some guesses already. We do have a couple. Those are new guesses that uh, haven't been guessed. Um, so I put it out on Facebook and um, the Atari Age forums. And here are the ones that people guessed. We'll see if any of these are right. Mm -hmm. I doubt it, but maybe. Because Champ Games is known for their um, arcade conversions, amazing arcade conversions. So there's a lot of arcade guesses. Um, people guessed games that are already works in progress. By, he said that his uh, video is frozen. Is that from us or is that... It's always good to check. I'm um, sure we're okay. Mm, nope, we're not. Oh, no. <laughs> It's going red and green. Okay. Of course, today. This is going to be the... But it's... it's it seems to be... Coming in and out. Well, let us know. Keep us updated yes, on that please end, please. Yes, keep us updated. Right now, it's, it's gone solid again. Solid okay. green. Just restart it. Restart it. It's, it's, it's back now. Yeah, it seems to be back. Temporary. Ooh. Temporary glitch. This is... You know what this is? This is fate. This is the <laughs> yeah. gods are swooping in yeah. to, to build some tension right yeah, before they're, the, they're, one of the most. They're they're tweaking with the cables and pulling them in and out. Okay. Yeah. S. Ramirez says it's fine here. Okay. So, so just reload it. Shot maybe the beginning. Yeah, we're green it, now, so we yeah, should be good. But keep well, us posted, But when you friends. said it and we looked over, it was red. Yeah. So it was, it was a real thing. But it's it's pretty solid now. Okay. Um, so sorry about that. Where's the low latency buffer button they keep referring to? Yeah, there is yeah. actually a low latency, uh, low latency one, um, but we're just gonna leave it for now. We'll start messing around with it, and I'll reduce the bit rate if it starts getting a little bit funky again. But please type type in the chat if anything is going wrong. Um, so some of the guesses about games he's already announced, because he said this is a game that he has not mentioned before. Ooh. He's never announced before, um, but some people did guess games that were announced, like uh, Champ Games Hockey. Yeah, that was... Um, so he's announced that one already. Uh, Avalanche, which bit a work in progress. We played it on the show. Um, so it's definitely not that, because this is a brand new game. Uh, Zookeeper, which he's been uh, posting about on and off for months. Uh, did Elevator... you play a demo of that, or did you we just did. watch a video I, of it? I, I don't... I swear we just watched a video. Yeah, I know I saw some some gameplay of it. I I think it was I think we just watched it. Yeah, I don't think I played it. But I, I didn't play it much. It looks cool, man. Yeah. That's oh, one yeah. I'm stoked on. That's gonna um, be really fun. Elevator action, which is an old work in progress that he was working on. So that one those have been already already been announced. Um some people guessed some games that other people are working on. So I also thought, no, nah, I don't think he would work on a game that somebody else is working He's on. He's pretty aware of the know. community. Yeah, so some people um, uh, guessed Food Fight, which was a uh, kind of a demo, a proof of concept made by Isposta, which is looking really good. That's a possibility um, because he's never announced that. Uh, Burger Time, which is right out, because somebody is already way far into Burger Time, Time and doing yeah. an awesome job. That's Splendid Nut, if I remember correctly. Rally X, which is a very strange uh, choice, because we played that last episode, and it's being done by Ed Freeze, which is the guy who did Halo 2600, so I don't... Yeah. That's not going to happen. Uh, Tron, which has been done by many people. We've played a couple versions of Tron already. Uh, Splendid Nut, there we go. <laughs> Chaotic Grill, there, yeah. It's funny, it's the that first, was a time, game. first time I've ever played Tron versus James has is, is, is rolled with this for a while. That was fun. Yeah, that was a tough game. So here are some possibilities that somebody said, and these are mostly arcade games. Yeah. Uh, Xevious, because there was a Xevious, I believe it was a terrible version. That'd be cool, it's a shooter. Robotron. Which is which would be really hard to make because there's a billion things on the screen. It's doubtful, but if anybody can pull it off, it's John Champo. He's the master of, of Flickr and multiple things on the same line. Uh, Bubbles, which is a cool game. Uh, never been attempted. Bubble Bobble, which would be very hard to do, but amazing. Oh my god, I'd play the hell out of that because I love that game. Tubin, very achievable. That's a good guess. That'd be really cool. Kickman, very, very achievable. Um, Timber, which would be super awesome and really <laughs> able to be done, no problem. Oh, Todd Fry's Zevious prototype. I haven't played that one. We'll have to check that out. Uh, Space Paranoids. Uh, Dizzy. I doubt it's Dizzy. That's like an old 
8-bit computer game from um, big prop popular in Europe. Yeah, I doubt it, but maybe. Pango, uh, Pango got a pretty good conversion on 2600 already. Popeye, it got an okay one for 2600. It's fine. I doubt it needs to be redone, but Zaxxon, there's already a lot in the works for that. Uh, Moon Cresta, uh, which is a cool shooter. That would be super awesome. Galaga, which I've been told is almost near impossible to make on the 2600, but again, if anybody can do it, he can. Uh, Air Sea Battle Jr., uh, Crush Roller, which would be cool. Armor Attack, uh, Bradley Trainer, Spelunker, which would be pretty hard. Oh, Johnny WC said Moon Crest I started back in 2007. Wow. Therefore, it's not that. Ooh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Bradley Trainer, Spelunker, and Black Widow, which would be super cool. It's a single, single screen game and actually just got released wow. for Vectrex as Spidex. So yeah, we're the suspense is killing you. We're doing this like cool. MSNBC style. That's we're just right. Gonna, we Coming got, up next, we got one. We got one piece of news, <laughs> and we're just gonna like work the first twenty minutes. And then <laughs> yep. the end, just be, be like... at the last ten minutes of <laughs> of the news cycle. <laughs> so everybody else out there, uh, you put out your guesses and uh, see what uh, see if you got get it right. What have people been uh, guessing? Oh, Eyes nibbler. Uh, oh, and Nathan Strum just subscribed for Twitch Prime. Yeah, He's thanks, up to two we months got, uh, in a row. That's awesome. Custer Revenge reboot. Oh, no, no, that's a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a very... Is that an NES game? Am uh, I wrong? It's a Atari 2600 one, and it's I was thinking uh, Fester's not Revenge. good. There is rape in it. Ooh, <laughs> it's not ooh. good. Uh, wow. Asteroids Deluxe 2600. 80s was a crazy time, yeah, man. Yeah, anything goes 80s there. 80s is like Olivia Newton-John is starring in movies. is yeah. nuts. I don't know. Space Rocks kind of kind of finished it off for asteroids. Uh, real sports bocce ball. <laughs> uh, real sports hockey. No, probably not. That's been announced. Nimbler eyes. Real sports cricket. Yes. What? Uh, oh, what did I suggest for him to do? Real his um, uh, synchronized swimming <laughs> yeah. because it's never been done ever <laughs> on any system. It's, and, it's true. It's that's that's I think the, that's the that niche of yeah. Um, Black Friday shoppers, real sports curling, uh, yeah, Jump Miss Pac-Man arcade, Miss Pac, Miss Pac-Man's been done. The original one's pretty good. Tempest, yeah. good luck with that. That would be hard to do. Uh, anyway, those are the guests. Hard Drive in twenty six hundred Thayer's Quest Outrun. There we go. Okay. Oh, it's Impaler. Let us know. It's bad. Uh, and uh, oh, John Chapeau said uh, in one of the comment threads, Zookeeper is up next. So that's his next release. Uh, once Wizard of War Arcade is finished and released. So after Wizard of War, it's Zookeeper. And the secret game, the one we're playing today, is 95% complete. Ooh. So this is a very, very finished game. Uh, so we may push to finish that while we wait for the um, Wizard of War sounds to be complete and the multi-tap spec to be finalized. Okay. Um, okay, and uh, just some news to take care of. I'll get through really quick. It's going to blast uh, through it. Uh, we'll be showcasing the final binary version of Kung Fu Combat uh, from Good Deal Games in the next stream. Um, and another game as well. Um, also, I was able to come first in the 2019 Harmony Games Round 2. Holy for shit. For Minor 2049er, so we did it. Dude. You know that, that, that yeah. cheesing thing? It worked. You know, we, we didn't play the game properly. Hold on, this minor twenty. That was the the was, platformer. Yeah, the platformer. Did did we play that with? Yeah, you we did. Show? I was just checking because yeah. I I didn't remember the name. But yeah, I, our technique was good. Was was to die as many times as we could on the first level because you can get a ton of points on the first level, and then go to the next level where you got the bonus timer points, and then try to get a couple points there. Yeah. And it just edged out the next person. I love that we also displayed to the world our approach. And <laughs> I know, and, and, and they still didn't use it. Yeah. So it's kind of funny. That's cool i think I'm, we pr got pretty close to maximizing that method i think so, so somebody would have to be really good uh to do, on level two that's right to beat beat that score but anyway two times in a row so i'm I in feel first like i and contributed first. to that you definitely philosophy did. which is great yeah. um uh, arena, and arena also, foot. yeah it's true uh a new sword quest yeah he finished off the fourth sword quest now you can win the uh crown i think it is <laughs> um so daryl spice jr as he mentioned earlier uh let me know that amazon twilight 
Amazon Prime Twitch Prime subscription doesn't auto renew. Oh, so good it does, and it also doesn't let you know when it runs out. So I um, call that a terrible system. That's it pretty is. rough, man. So people who are subscribed to this channel, they have to be aware that their subscription runs out and manually do it. Subscribe it again. Yeah. So sorry, friends. Just keep an eye on it. Nothing we can do about that. Um, save keys are available now in the Atari Age Store. Um, you know the Atari Vox there? Yeah. Um, it also keeps high scores if your game is programmed to do that. But now um, Al is providing just this, the key so you can just have the save, the high score saved. That's Without really nice. the voice. So it's a lot cheaper. So it's a good option. Militant Buddhist says, gotten some streaming issues. It's still green on our end. Still green. Solid. 3,000 uh, kilobits per second. So fifteen dollars each. Thank you, Arena Foot. So they are available there um, if you would like to get that. And the Atari Vox, uh, he says he'll expect to have those available again soon to coincide with Champ Games Wizard of War release because Wizard of War Arcade uses the Atari Vox for all the tons of voices, which um, yeah, and I supposed to do all the sounds oh, and it's working on the voices I as supposed well. To represent man. Yep. Yeah. Um. So I won't go into detail. <laughs> Save it the old school way, pen and paper. That's true. That's right. Uh, so I won't go into the details of the save key supported games and all the details. You can go and check in the Atari H store for that. Um, and a Retron 77 update again. Ooh. Um, really good update. Great that they're updating that thing, man. Oh, That's yeah, really awesome cool. now. So you don't need a keyboard anymore to plug into it. Um, it's all accessible using the joystick, all the settings, so it's super awesome. That's the big update. And you can get to the command menu by pressing the 4x3 and 16x9 button. Um, and, uh, and the 16x9 mode is available again. All this changes, all the settings, the changes you make to the settings are saveable now, so they don't reset when you reboot it. It's awesome. Paddles connected to the front now work without any mapping. And there's a de-jitter filter for paddle input, so it doesn't go like this. So, well, awesome. He, here's the thing, guys. It sounds like that's definitely something to look into because the fact that they're updating it and yes. listening to the to the issues. Well, they're and, not updating it. The the, the community. The fact updating that it. people are updating. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the, I don't know what I'm talking about. The com company has completely dropped the ball. Jesus. And they okay. don't care. They this is why, anything. thank God, there's the internet, friends, because yes. I'm talking out of my ass. This is you guys <laughs> that are crushing it as usual. And um, we're doing a Stella 12-hour fundraiser oh, at yeah. the end of June, on June 28th. Awesome. So now I'm doing a call-out for donations for the fundraiser for Stella, because I know every developer out there uses Stella to test their games and to create their games. People like me uh, use it for testing games out before I go on the show. It's a great emulator for people who don't have a 2600. So we're going to be doing a fundraiser for them so that they can improve Stella and, and work on it some more. So if you are, say, a developer or somebody who makes Atari 2600 related items, um, like cartridges, posters, hardware, signed copies of things, custom builds of games like with their initials or something in it, um, or any more ideas. Um, we're looking for donations. All the money goes to Stella, and we're going to be uh, we're, uh, playing our butts off on uh, June 28th for yeah. 12 hours. 12 hour stream, man. I'll be here. Yep. What Tanya will be here. Yeah, Darcy, Darcy will be here. It'll be the whole crew. We'll just screw around for like 12 hours and go crazy. Yeah, getting and back to games we didn't finish, taking challenges that's from, right. from the uh, from the chat. So. Yes, so keep your eye out on that. I'll put a call out in the Atari Age forums as well. But get a hold of me if you have ideas for donations or if you have donations that you want to um, give so that uh, people can uh, bid on them and all the money goes to the great people at Stella who help make the Retron 77 also a good system. Yeah. So it's a, it's a great cause. <laughs> so now we're going to get to what you've all been waiting for. Yeah, thank you for your patience. Thank you for your patience. There and that's was some and our MSNBC style uh, journalism yep. today. <laughs> so it is time now to get on with what you've came for. Uh, the secret new homebrew. Ooh, yeah, drum roll indeed. So uh, I did get a 
a couple notes beforehand. James, I think that you should have the honor to do the first one. I know first normally game. I play, but I think I think you having oh, devoted you. your 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 <laughs> so much of your life to this show, I think you deserve the first go oh, at John Tempo's so game, man. I, I can't take this away from you. Well, we may it may not be just one person because there was a hint given Ooh. in here. Um, so this was first posted. Jared Gray Rest just snuck oh, in. just snuck in. He's the Han, he's the Han Solo. He just <laughs> swoops in. in. I'm here to save the day. Do sex machina. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, this build is today. Um, other games by John John Champo. If you guys have forgotten his amazing list of games, Avalanche Champ Sports Hockey work in progress. Bye bye. Um, that's Tanya leaving. Uh, Conquest of Mars. Elevator action work in progress, Ladybug, Mappy, Ripoff work in progress, Scramble, Super Cobra Arcade, Wizard of War Arcade work in progress, Zoo Keeper work in progress, and another one back up there that I've completely forgot. And the games are just donated five bits, five cheers, that's what they are. Wow. Yay, thank you, the games are. Wow, oh, thanks, dude. Um, its availability is not available yet, this game. And he gave me some notes before we turn it on. Uh, oh, you guys are seeing the screen already. Um, this will only work on the Harmony Cart, or the latest build of Stella, since it uses the new CDFJ driver, which is a brand new way of making games. And oh. the J stands for John Shampoo. Because the CDF stood for Daryl Spice Jr., Chris Walton, and Fred Quimby, um, three amazing developers. That's who the, the driver was co-written by. And now there's a J. Uh, it lol, it really stands for jump. Oh, never mind. Wouldn't it be amazing if, if there's no... <laughs> anyway, you can say it's J for John. Wouldn't it be amazing if there's no game and it was just like a video of him screaming about ah, all of his... like laughing all at his, all All his, like, uh, a competition and be... You know, imagine if this was a massive, like, gag and a big oh. troll. That would almost be as good. I don't oh, think that's goodness. what it is. But I'm trying to imagine what would be a That'd funny be alternative. We'd be like, well, so we're moving on to the next game. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, there's no game. <laughs> uh, He's like um, award winner. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you do when you win awards. <laughs> April Fools, exactly. April Fools. Well, yeah, we're past April. L late April Fools. Nothing is happening. Um, <laughs> uh, the game does support two players, so he says it supports two players. Ooh. Doesn't mean it is two players. I, so we'll see. We'll so see. have two joysticks ready, which I do have two joysticks okay, ready. The game does not support Atari Vox save key just yet. So have two joysticks plugs in. And the game does not support the uh, Quadtari or Multiport, etc. yet. So, we are ready. And uh, so you can um, send over <laughs> the... It's me, exactly, dude. <laughs> it's a good reference. I like that. So you can send over the, um, the instructions now, um, uh, John, and we will power up the game. So let me switch over so we can see it on our screen. Okay, we'll go down to today. And there's no title, because I don't know what it is. I'll, he passed it over as Champ Secret Ga Champ Games Secret Project. That's it. There you here go. We go. There we go, James. Everybody ready? I'll make sure the volume is turned up here. Yeah. Instructions sent. Oh, excellent. I'll refresh. Actually, I won't refresh yet because that'll tell me what it is. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Mailer season. I have good news, hey. Badgerns. Would you like to play a game? Now, have you ever seen the movie uh, War Games? I have when I was very, Matthew Broderick? very young. Matthew Broderick. I don't remember yes. it at all. Um, I have seen it technically, but I haven't. I saw it at that age where I that basically didn't see it. Is an homage to War Games. Um, yeah. It's the com he hooks up the computer to a speaker, and it speaks out. Would you like to play a game? And he's got a list of games. Yeah. And it's like chess and checkers is and he... tic tac toe and the other. The last one is global thermonuclear war. He's like, I'll play that one. <laughs> <laughs> I would play that one. And he's like, Yeah, that one. Is the, does the climax of this movie play have, chess? Play chess. Have some? Does he have him play like tic tac toe against himself? The computer you, plays yes. tic tac toe against itself, so, and he's like, "I can't win." Yeah. And then he uses it as an allegory for nuclear war, and and he shuts down the whole and the is computer that, shuts okay. down the whole project because it has AI. That's the only bit of the movie I remember. So he did type. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, the only way to win is not to play. Stream yes. is canceled. That's right. Stream is canceled. Now we did play. Uh, type in uh, ZPH um, into the chat uh, eons ago. So I'm gonna go for that. We'll see if this does anything. It has fast scrolling, which is oh, nice. Oh, that's sick. Um, because I know on Mappy I complained about the slow scrolling for putting in your name. Is this <laughs> He's it? like, oh yeah. Imagine this is it. It might not be it though. It's not ZPH. Is oh, it's said. not ZPH. Well, let's okay. try ZPH. Nope. Would you like <laughs> to, to play <laughs> to a game? It appears as all of James's equipment has been fried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sends out high voltage electrical uh, outlet to my uh, frame meister. We really, um, we really so should have thought about this. <laughs> Z is the first letter. He's making us guess it. Oh, it's so good. Okay, Z. Z. Okay, Joshua. Bad. Unfortunately, I have multiple counts. Here. Nathan knows the second one. Okay. Oh my goodness, it's distributed. So Dude. it's like the two keys. Oh. So not one person can launch the Okay. Uh so Nathan, you have to pr eight. eight. Okay, okay, okay. Zait? <laughs> well, I gotta say I approve of this, <laughs> this so <method>? fucking much. <laughs> I'm so into this dramatic. Who knows the last one? Is it me? Did oh. I know it all along? This is the full circle <laughs> thing. You're like, you just type in... I had it in me all along. You just type in pixel. <laughs> done. Who's got the third key? Who's got... Did Dude, you have it? Did he send James it to you? James Kirk. Very, it's true. Mallard Season has it? It's an am? I don't, ampersand? I don't think. I don't know if I trust Mallard Season. I might... I don't know. Zero, 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 destruct. Is it zero? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Satan, it's so good. People are trolling us at the same time. So it's like, so it's like which one it's, is it's right? It's so hard to like Who do we tell? trust? We can only trust Nathan and and John. I think those are our people. 666. Six, six. That's so good. Yeah. John, what's the third one? <laughs> so what's good. What's the third one? <laughs> Just leaving us hanging, man. John decided to go for lunch. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have to hold on this. Have a little discussion about movies. Would you like to play a game? We oh, would it's zero. It is zero. Oh, Z80. Okay, like the processor. Okay. Is that right? Is that right? That's what he said? Z80 makes sense? Yeah, Z80. Zero. And he did, okay, he cool. He did put that. Okay, you ready, everyone? Here we go. <gasps> oh, my God. Dude, this is your favorite. <laughs> yeah. is this... this is my favorite game. <laughs> This is my favorite game. <gasps> then James, yeah, Look at it! James is playing this shit, man. <laughs> oh my... Oh my god. Oh my god, John. Oh my god. You Thank just, you, you just so made, much. You just made someone very happy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is like... No, like I... It's a dream come true, man. It is. It is a dream come true. <laughs> I, oh, look there, coding and design, John Shampo, art and graphics, Nathan Strum, music and sound, Ross Keenum. Wow. Who's that? Who's Ross Keenum? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at that. Oh, my God. This Take is my money. Beautiful. Indeed, man. Take all my yeah. money. This is amazing because I, 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 I put this out to the world. I, yeah. I said this before the show. Really? I put oh. this out to the so world. So this is full circle, James. It is. It really is. I, like a long time ago in the, in the Atari age forums, I said, is Galaga is my favorite game. Is this possible to ever be made for the 2600? And the replies I got was no. This John Champro goes, hold my beer. <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> and everybody was like, no, it's too complex. It's, it's not possible. It's, it's just too much going on. The, the complexity and of... nobody guessed it. Nobody... No, they did. They did, did they? it. Did they? Somebody did. Somebody oh, guessed okay. it. But I, Some... I dismissed that. Right? Even in the chat, you can go into the forums and see me going, no. No, it's not that. It's not possible. It's not possible. It, li it lives, to, it, it deserves to dream. The dream Sir is Cat alive. Legs is Ross. Well, welcome, Sir Cat Legs. Excellent. Well, the, the sounds like we're hearing right now. Yeah, dude. Are perfect. Oh, and I love perfect. too. Uh, he's got the the people's like oh, uh, things. the initials. It's the yes. same with Mappy, right? It was the same deal. Yep. Oh, we can. Okay. Champ Games. Smart. Nice. Hey? That's cool. Advanced novice standard. We're gonna go for standard. Standard to start. for start. Excellent. Oh my God, this is this is mind blowing, John. Yeah. I'm dude. so glad you kept this a secret. This is so mind blowing. And I'm I am honored, like <laughs> yeah, dude. literally honored, that I'll be the first one to play 
Galaga for Atari 2600. Like, Galaga's never I been made. I think this probably justifies the, the whole show and how many. <laughs> oh, the year how many, and a half. Yeah, and, all this work. And, like, I, I dreamt of the show in 2016. And, yeah. and let me turn up the sounds a little and bit. Now, and now you're playing Galaga. Now, this is my dream come, <laughs> dream come true. Oh. oh, my God, look at it. Okay, you ready? Sorry, I've been holding off on this, but I've just been going, going crazy. I made most of the sounds years ago. I think I heard those sounds in because i searched for galaga of course one yeah. of the first things i would do in the atari h forum is search for galaga <laughs> anybody milton budis is like james you gotta make a documentary on champ games it's true man there's something there don't don't yeah don't, don't test him yeah don't test me okay you ready everyone sorry Oh my god, the movement is so good. That's the key, man. As long as the movement's good, you got a game. With with this genre in particular. Yeah, and you I, I can confirm too, James has said to me independently on many occasions this is his favorite <laughs> game. Oh yeah. Like he's I always and he says like my favorite is space shooters and my favorite's Galaga. That's yeah. that's uh, that's one of the first things I learned about James. <laughs> it's like I came when into, I met him I said that. I came well. into his room and I was like I was like you got lots of retro games before we were ever going to do the show. And I, and I was like what's your favorite because it just seemed like a good conversation. He's like yeah. Galaga. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, second guy come down. Come get me. Oh my god, that looks so good. The capture the so amazing. This is perfect. Like, <laughs> like there's nothing wrong with this. Oh my god. Everything, the star background. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have to fight my own ship, I believe. And not get it. Oh, we got. Oh, hey. Oh. We know who that is. Yes, we do. <laughs> Voicemail, we're playing Galaga. <laughs> yeah, we're playing Galaga. <laughs> playing a game that nobody has ever played before. Uh, should I try and sacrifice my second ship? Yes, because I want to get two double ships for sure. Should have let that last ship loop. Yeah, this is like done. <laughs> this game is damn. Like... And this is on the Atari 2600. My oh, friend. yes. This is this unbelievable. Is... And I think that like, man, these graphics no. look. <sighs> that was close. Oh, hey! You can capture me. What the hell? Oh, the graphics are so Oh, yeah, good. and the stars zipping by in the design. It seems like... And how's the shooting for you? Oh, it's, it's perfect. How's Absolutely it... perfect. Yeah, you said the, the movement okay. feels good. Oh, everything. Everything. It's, it's spot on. You're going to come capture me? Oh, you bastard. Why aren't you capturing me? Do I not know the rules of Galaga good enough? Did I sh oh, I shot too many bumblebees, I think. Yeah, well, I'll get a next one. Actually, the challenging stage is next, I believe. I'm screwed. Oh, what? there is a ship. What? Is that? Oh, that was your old ship. That was ship. my ship. It came back? It's, is it, that a it's thing? been hanging out there the whole time. So he'll come back the next one. So I shouldn't shoot him. I should let him go. Like also, a, the like idea last is, is if you kill it, you get two? Uh, no. no. You, you have to kill the thing it's holding on to. Oh, my God. Oh, and then you get your ship back, but you get, like, two ships? Yeah. I've never played Galaga before, so I mean, this is a first for me, as usual. <laughs> yeah, you get two ships, so you get double shot. Wow. And you said this is the hard level? No, this is a challenging stage, so it's bonus. But it, you usually try and get two ships before you do this stage. Because then you can just wreck and rip through Oh, it. yeah, yeah. Is it, do you get so um, more ships with high scores in this game? How's you, the... You get extra ships. 20,000? That's oh, your first wow. one. Use the auto fire button. No. And that's it. <laughs> gotta do another one, man. Keep playing. Yeah, I do want to get... Oh, it's got this too? Oh my god. 48%. Oh, wow. Did I get into the... Oh, last place. Player one. Nice. Wow, man. 
Go oh, fifth place. Oh, two player. Oh yeah, yeah, we can do play two player. No, I've That's never, nice. I've never played Galaga, man. <laughs> this is how out of it I am. I'm, I, I, I'm kind of like. That's also, I think, partly why I'm on the show. <laughs> <laughs> To show uh, <laughs> what what it's like for so, someone who knows nothing. I'm guessing it's game select. Yeah. Whoa, nice. two yeah. players, dude. Nice. Red and blue. So does this mean I get to shoot two? Damn. <laughs> yeah. So it'll be me first. Looks bet better than many other versions. It actually does. Yeah. Hey, Atariado. Atariado. Congrats, John. Amazing work. Was busy taking screenshots and posting to Twitter. <laughs> 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 okay. You ready? Oh, is your player one? Yeah. Erlen makes James shine. See, that's that's so good. It, no matter how bad I am. No. <laughs> that's that's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> There's a few games that I do better on, but it d depends. RPGs. That's RPGs. where he kicks ass. Yeah, and there's a there's been a few random ones that for whatever reason I get a good streak. Ah. Yeah, I dream in RPGs. It's my pro it's, it's a nightmare. <laughs> After having grown up reading monster manuals, memorizing the armor class of owl bears, <laughs> you know, <Yeah. laughs> you're <laughs> it's... try the auto fire. Like there is an auto fire, or just do it on auto fire. Mega I'll... fire, like a new thing, or you just hold it down. Maybe. I'll I'll hold it down. Let's see what that happens. Sure. What happens? Mm. No. Oh yeah. Okay. There's auto fire. Nice. But I like it more precise. Yeah, it's precision. Because you don't really have auto fire, it's not that rapid, so. Come on, give me my double ship. Oh, John, uh, uh, John said just hold down the button, and he said diff A turns it off, arcade. Oh, okay. So I don't know what that means, but. A difficulty A switch. Ah, oh, sick. Come on, dude. <laughs> yeah, I said enough of the arcade video. Show the Atari 2600 version now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so now we've played the arcade. And, <laughs> and uh, we're going to plug in... Ah, it's insane, man. Why do these guys keep coming down? No! No, no, no! Oh, God. I'm going to stand this side so I don't accidentally shoot them. Come on. Come on, friends. Come on over here. Ooh. Ah! Ooh. There we go. Okay, need my ship back. So oh, now you got finally. your ship. There we go. Now everybody can see it. Yep, now I have my ship. Holy shit. Now it just don't die. This is where Galaga gets gets next whoa, level, whoa, whoa. right? I almost lost it. Yeah. Now you just clean up the board. And try not to get hit. Try not to get hit, yeah, at the same time. Wow. That's cool, man. I never said I was an expert at Galaga. It's, your... just, it's just my favorite game. I'm not terrible at it. I'm not far from amazing. The good thing is I'm going into challenging stage with some double, double shots, man. As long as you don't get shot. Whoa! Ooh, as long as you don't get shot. Close. <laughs> so smooth indeed, man. You can see how it's advantageous. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah oh, no! Oh, that's that's a tricky one, man. That one. Oh, terrible! Yeah, the firing is spot on. Like, it's so good. I think you just beat your high score. So smooth. Can't oh my stop God, smiling. Yeah. yeah, man, I suppose this is crazy, <laughs> it's dude. Crazy. Whoa, yeah, you're beating uh, your high score for sure, oh, man. There's no question. How big is this game? Is it. Oh, I, I didn't look. Um, I mean, like the original Galaga is be... like quite a few levels. Oh, it's it's yeah, it's tons, tons of levels. Ah, oh, I knew it. Oh, oh no, oh, devastation! I oh, still got three lives. It happens. Oh, it's your turn. Is it? Oh shit! Okay. Just shoot everything. I've never, I've and never, avoid the bullets. I've never done this before. Okay, let's get <laughs> let's get serious. Otherwise, I don't want to embarrass myself on the first time I play Galaga in front of all these experts. Oh. Okay. Holy shit, there's a lot of uh, material to kill, my friend. The definitive home version of Galaga. Yeah, it is really, really good. And probably better than the NES version. Oof. 
because this is more arcade. So accurate. is this guy gonna like try to like abduct me? The at second a guy point? that comes down. Okay. So don't shoot the second guy. Okay. Wait. 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 Don't shoot. Don't shoot that guy. Ah oh, shit, man. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah. Avoid the bullets. Yeah, that's a generally a good a good approach. Is a you up? Yeah. Yeah. Now I can try and get my. Uh... Oh, it's not finished the wave. Wow. I can try and get captured again. I do have extra lives now, so it's not, not a problem. I feel like I, we're going to be playing this on the 12-hour uh, stream. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> going for high scores. There's no doubt. There's yeah. no doubt. There we go. Yay. Oh, you can even shoot while you're spinning. Whoa. Nice. Because that's very special. When you're captured, being captured, you can shoot while you're spinning. And that's the only time your shots go off left or right. Is that a... So that is a huge little thing that uh, John put in. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Hey, where's my shot? Come on. Where's my ship? What, did I shoot it? What no, you didn't, but it, 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 might, it might come back. Last time it came oh, back, but you maybe. didn't do it. I'll let you know, though, if I see it. <laughs> yes, please. Because cause... you're busy not dying. <laughs> Ah, this is an ah, intense game, man. It is. That's what you can see why people said, no, this is not going to happen. There's a lot the of There's movement. There's my ship. Yeah, there he is. Yay. Like when they line up, it, it feels like almost weirdly a little bit like. Oh, even um, those guys are in it. Nice. It feels a little bit like Space Invaders in a way where everything stacks up. But Space but, Invaders is the. The spiritual successor to this, and then Galaxian. But this is totally its own thing. Oh, it's totally more advanced because they're coming down. Right? Well, yeah, and, and you and I love they kind of come out and you like shoot them. Again, I know for everybody that's like, of course, it's this Galaga, Ireland. But like, I've never played it before. I don't know how. <laughs> hey, it works. what's my chip? You had one chance. That's weird. Is that captured ships leave when the enemies are in free fall? They return the next. Level. Really? Really? That's weird. I don't, so that's you probably get one good. chance to get your ship. Hmm. Get get in there. Hey. Nice. You did it. Sweet. First time, friends. Fighter captured. Do I? And then you shoot not your ship, but the other guy's ship when okay. he comes down. Okay. You apparently, you only have one chance. Yeah. Yay! Dude, this is the first time I nice. get my double people. Okay, let's see if I can survive. I will survive. Yeah, you got to make it to the challenging stage. Just avoid now. <laughs> Short lived. Uh, within two seconds. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. how it usually happens. But it's anyway. the first time I've ever it's done this. It's pretty good to, so. to do oh. get your ship captured and Ugh. get it back in your first. If you shoot too, enemy, too many enemies, then they free fall. They don't return to formation. Ah, I see. Oh, okay. So I should leave some enemies if I want my ship. If I want a chance at getting my ship. Okay. Yeah, this is a the challenge of this game. It appears to be you gotta like be aggressive and defensive yes. at the same time. Oh yeah, definitely defensive. Because it's like you have to like dodge these bullets, but at the same time you also gotta like be very precise with your murdering. <laughs> yes, <laughs> with your bug murdering. So, so uh, they're kind of like bees, and they're like space bugs. We're still tweaking the difficulty. Only Nathan has tested it so far. I think I think it's pretty like for normal. This is fairly close to arcade difficulty. It seems. Yay! Hey. Oh, you get Zika. It remembers my name. Ooh. You're so close! Holy shit! Oh damn! <laughs> That's a rough one. Knocked myself 20, out though. Twenty twenty points <laughs> away. What's the ROM size? Oh, actually, I can find out the ROM size. One second. Okay, I'm going to really focus on not dying because yes. I kind of didn't really pay as much attention to the bullets, and that was my for sure my downfall. Because, like... Uh, 32K. Oh, hey. Capture it again. Good job. <laughs> awesome. I feel like it's just mostly luck. 32K. Okay. Is it just my tiny phone screen? There's, like, no flicker. 
Player two, game over? Why is it the... Oh, because oh, I lost my oh, ship. Oh, yeah, you can't have your last ship captured because it's actually your ship. Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> but you did really good I, for your I, first I went game. For, I went I, I, I flew too close to the sun. I was Icarus yes. with this. I was like, oh, this is my chance. So I'm going to copy over... Actually, you play the game, and I will read out what's going on. Oh, sick. Should we do one player? Yeah. I'm going to put you on novice. Thank God. So you can... Oh. So you have to do novice. There you go. So I don't... Okay. Oh, I have two ships? I start out with two ships? Look. Oh. Oh. That's cool. That's even better. Yep. This is this is nice. It's like it gives me it gives me something to, to build towards, man. Uh, it's definitely easier with two ships. Uh, it's also <laughs> yes, uh, wet when it rains. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there you go. Some structure. Some, some deep some deep philosophy. Okay, so we're gonna read out what uh, John sent me. Oh. Novice equals kids mode. Yeah. No, um, I'm an idiot. Dear James, okay. if you're reading this, you have most likely cracked the code to Champ Game's secret project. Seriously, though, as you know by now, the secret game that Nathan and I have been working on is Galaga. The following should be wrong, uh, read tongue-in-cheek. For those who don't know, this is a port of the 1997 Champ programming classic Champ Galagon <laughs> to avoid any hassles. Champ Programming is notoriously protective of their copyrights, and here the owner is a real pain in the ass. We are calling our port Galaga instead. <laughs> uh, okay, now I'll be serious, I promise. Object. Galaga is a port of the 1981 Namco Classic Shooter. The object is to maneuver your ship through levels of enemies and destroying them with your missiles. During the game, the enemy will continue, occasionally try to capture your ship with their tractor beam. If captured, you can rescue your comrades to obtain double firepower. There are challenge stages starting on level 3 and every 4 levels after, where your goal is to try to shoot down all 40 enemies. Enemies don't fire during the challenging stages, and destroying all the enemies will reward you with a huge score bonus. The game ends when all your ships have been destroyed. After game over, a results screen is displayed showing you how well your accuracy was during the game including the number of shots, hits, and the percentage ratio. Earning a high score allows the enemy to enter up to three initials oh. into the list of the galactic heroes. Good luck! Yeah, the... F oh, yeah, going back to the flicker. There is so little flicker in this game. It is unbelievable. There's a little bit while they're coming in on the screen and Whoa, kind of going on a line. just blast But up top... You, it's like no Ooh. flicker at all. It's super clean. It's amazing. I think I want to do standard because I just feel like <laughs> if I get a high score on... on no, no it's, it's novice high scores. That's what... Oh, oh is that PH? That's not you. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to change it. I'm sorry. No, it, it keeps separate... separate uh, I'll do separate. standard just because I feel like if I like get a high score, it's not really like... Oh, they're a... not going to be saved. What? Because it doesn't support the Atari key, Atari box. Well, no, but I mean, like, I feel like I can't celebrate anything because no, it's like, it's a novice high score, okay, right? It's fine. We're going <laughs> we're going to standard. I think the only difference seems to be I start out with two ships. I uh, yeah, it's so, a like, huge advantage though. It's but it's such... only the very first time. Yeah. And then I can't really like engage with the mechanics. It seems of like True. being like captured, of being captured and stuff. And as and it's it feels more rewarding than like. <laughs> Okay, developments, development history. Development on the Galaga for the 2600 started the week of March 25th. So, like a month and a half ago. A month and a Dude. half ago we started this game. Oh my god. So, how does that <laughs> coincide with um, uh, the award show? That would have been... Oh, well after. I think the award show was in February. Early February? See, late I February? Um, uh, I came across old source code for Champ Galagon which was developed in 1997 for the PC. I get the reference up above. I uh -oh. think every champ games made... Uh, I think I have every champ games made for the PC back in the day, Wink Dot says. Oh, did you make? Did he make games for PC? I he didn't did. know that. Yeah, way, way back. He did a whole, a whole bunch of great ports. What? 
like Donkey Kong, I believe, oh, and damn. and Galaga as well. So this, I mean, this is it's not his first rodeo. Oh, obviously, no. he's, he's he's an expert. He's Man, this is like an OG. This is a hard game. Like when they all kind of like circle around at the bottom, and oh, they're yeah. like they're and there's dropping like, bullets, and they're firing at you, and you're supposed to like try to kill them. <laughs> yes, it's rough. Um, after looking at the code, I started ha thinking about how it could be to use it possibly to do a 2600 port. I've been thinking about how may it been done for how it may be done for a few years. Uh oh. And thought Did I make mistakes? And I think thought, I might have made mistakes. No, no, you're good. You still it's... have a life. Okay. You're thank, good. Thank God. Yeah, it's worth it even if it's your last life, not your last guy, but your extra life. Yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna Um And my thought was to start with how Galaxian uh -oh. displays I enemies in formation yeah, using the multi sprite trick. And that's what I that's what I thought when I saw it at the top. And also reminiscent of Galaxian when the guy, when the sprites are diving too, because they change to a solid color. At the top they're multicolored, but when they start diving they're single color, which is which is exactly how the Galaxian on the um, uh, 2600 uh, works, which works really well. Um, displays the enemy information using multi sprite trick to display seven enemies on one line with no flicker. So everybody out there is right. There is no flicker at the top. The only flicker comes when they're diving and they're on the same line. So pretty minimal. 24, After, same as last time. Interesting. Not bad. After some research for one for a single guy. It's pretty hard with just one shot. Yeah, it's just interesting that I got the exact same amount. See, this is the hard part when the, the kamikaze <laughs> just blasts into you. Okay. Thrust says, Ooh. this explains why Nathan has so little time for other projects. <laughs> um... After some research in Stella, I was able to get a display of the enemies in formation. I extended the number to eight uh, using very crude graphics. This is when I decided to reach out to Nathan Strum, who's a graphics expert. And those look beautiful. The graphics at the top, it's a very nice reduced version of what the arcade looks like. Once, once again, a, a really good reminder that this is a team sport. Yes. Oh, it is. This yeah, is, it's you know, like programming, designing, especially it's, at this level. Yeah, you you don't uh, do something like this in a month on your own. It's, oh God! No. You know, it's it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's that's a tough go. Uh, after some research, I decided to reach out to Nathan Strum uh, with the graphics and to start discussing game design. This is how all good champ champ games get their momentum. After imp importing Nathan sprites, adding in the stars, which are Perfect. The stars are so good. Um, and getting some basic left-right movement and the pallet, patented Galaga breathing motion in in uh, place. Yes! Nice! See, it's so satisfying. This is why I didn't want to do novice. Because right. now I've, I've you did, can't do that. Now I deserve... Okay, now I just gotta... There's no way I'm gonna do this. But we're gonna try. Just don't die. I want I want my double ships for this, this other stage, man. <laughs> Yes, you do. Oh, Ooh, see, just keep dodging, keep dodging. No, see, that's the most dangerous time, I feel. It is. Oh, God. Because there's like three... They're like swooping in. Two to three bullets coming down. Just... Oh, you're almost there. Oh, come on. I uh, gotta stay go. safe. I just really want to see them. if I can do that. Like... Get him, get him. You can do it. Oh, One more. On. Challenge stage. Yes, okay. Did I have it. a shot at this now. Uh, Nathan focused on the remaining graphics while I started porting over oh, the enemy no. fly-in pattern engine that I developed for Galagon and stabilized the display kernels. Uh, as Nathan sent more graphics, I started adding the pieces one at a time. Okay. Your ship, enemy takeoff, missiles, explosions, Oof. tractor beam, etc. Once the game was somewhat playable, I reached out to Mike Haas, Ice Bosta, and asked if he would be interested in doing music and sounds. Although he was interested, he sh shared some very good news. Apparently all the music and sounds for Galaga had already been done for the 2600 way back in 2013 by Atari H member no. Catlegs, who is, no. who is in the chat, no. to chat today as Sir Catlegs. These kamikazes, man. Oh yeah, after this level they start diving at you. That's, those are the people I, I gotta learn. I think I've learned the first level at this yes. point, but it's like now... See, yeah, that they break off and come down. That motherfucker down. gets me every time. <laughs> Whew. Galaga uh, is a heart beater. Uh, cat legs, aka Ross Kino. Oh, it's like a lobster ship. Look. <laughs> yeah, they split off. What into are the a lobster, lobster ships? I don't know the rules on that, but one creates multiple lobsters and comes down. 
dude, I'm not doing it. Ah, doing it. Yeah, oh, you got lots of ships. Look, you got two extra lives. I gotta do it. I reached out to Ross, and he graciously agreed to allow us to use his sounds, music, and Galaga, and also worked on some additional sounds. Dude, Ross sounds. was in the chat. Thanks, yeah. Ross. Additional sounds that were needed. Enemy breathing Whoa. sound, insert coin, and the high score entry music sound. Music. Over the next few weeks, I ported oh. over the remaining... No! No, you got it. Did I? Yeah. Dude! You're, good. You're back oh, to two ships thank again. thank God. Okay. And you only got one guy to <laughs> And then I die on that one. You're kicking ass. Oh, okay. It's so stressful, man. <laughs> and then I got two ships. I don't want to fuck it up. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like... It's like I finally married the woman of my dreams. <laughs> I just have to not, not screw up. it up. That's all that's <laughs> happened. We're engaged. <laughs> the marriage is happening. I just have to not die from kamikaze ships. Holy crap. Oh. 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 oh double hit. Okay, I'm just gonna... Um, but I got two ships back because I got two... two. You got extra. Okay, okay. Extra. There is some fairness in this world. Yeah. I just have to not die somehow. Um... I'm just keeping my second ship, man. I'm not gonna. I'm not last, gonna. La the last week we, fi the last week we finished adding the high score screen, the no, scoring no. screen, the credit screen. No, no. I'm not Actually, you do have an extra life. No, nah, man. I'm. I'd rather. I'd rather see if I can survive longer. Cause nah. the thing is, is that then it's I get killed and then double ship and yes. I don't know. I think it's always worth it. It probably is. I just don't trust my <laughs> abilities. I'd rather like. Um, have a, like another go at it. And mm. I bet you I'm doing like a challenge screen now or something. Oh, the next no, the next one challenge screen will be on seven. Okay, okay. Oh, last life, just one dude, right? Six, yes. Yeah. Okay. So next one is Whew. challenge. Good no, luck. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Kamikazes. Uh, plus tweaking the gameplay, skill levels, uh, two-player alternating, the credit screen, and bug fixes. Nathan did most of the testing, no, so, no, if no, there, no, no. so if there are any go, major go. bug fixes, it's his fault. No, 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 no. Oh. oh. Got to level six, though, and what is my points? I think I'm like, I think I got... You did really well. I think I got, yeah. like... Just wait for it. Good ratio. Decent ratio. Um, and then how did I do? Did I... I... No. Didn't be me. That's not surprising. <laughs> but, but you did really well. But, I don't think I made it to the second challenge stage. No. Um, he has become quite the Galaga player over the last couple of weeks. I estimate the game to be about 90% done, with plans to add a few more features, including save key Atari box support for high scores, support for Nathan Tober's Quadtari multi-tap. It's been renamed Quadtari. I was just uh, um, <sighs> messaged by Nathan Tober. And he'll be sending me the Quadtari soon. Uh, actually, he already sent it. It's on its way. And I have his um, quad games as well. So we'll be playing that on the show after the break. Not this break, but after my break. Um, for two-player Atari with Atari Vox and co-op mode. Two players playing simultaneously. Hey! Oh I'm my god. In. Wow. I'm so in, it's not even That's funny. That's amazing. Okay. Co-op mode. Has co-op mode been put in any other Galaga game? I don't hey, man. remember seeing that. That's amazing. If you're, if you're John Champo, you take it farther. <laughs> That's right. It's gone. Yes. There you go. Okay. Oh. Um, and other bells and whistles, ROM permitting, of course. Um, game options. From the title screen, you can select the number of players and the skill level. Press select to toggle between one and two players. For the two players, each player alternates after the current player's ship is destroyed. Yes, look. There are, you did, you're an expert at it now. Oh, I wouldn't say an expert. <laughs> I'm trying my best to... There you go. Oh, okay, now I have to just not die. There are plans to add co-op mode when no. where two players will play simultaneously on the same team. One score. Ah. Alternating who controls the ship... I, I've been, after each death or end of level. I could be wrong, but when they're sort of circling, it's better to just not oh, what? not bother with it. When the ship is captured, the other player will need to rescue the ship. Once rescued, both players will be able to control their own ship. Oh, okay. So the two players comes to into effect when when you get two ships. Before that, it's just a one player. Come on, come oh. on. Oh, God. You kind of have to memorize the patterns of how they move. That's, that's what really part of helps. The, it's part yeah. of the gig. Yeah, I imagine. Um, it's 32K using the CDFJ driver. Yeah, J f allows multiple jump streams to help save ROM. Well, there you go. There yes. you go. That's oh, how God. You do it. Yes. Uh, not available in Stella yet. Oh, 
I think I did better than last time, though. 29 was my last. 30, I got one more. That's so progress. You, so when you play two-player co-op, you have to earn the second player Holy to play. Shit. That's really cool. Just don't die. That's all we need That's to all, do. All, whoa. Just avoid everything coming down at you. I, I, I've been finding when do. they're doing their crazy circles to just kind of like let them do their let thing. Let them do their thing. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Because yeah, and then shoot them along the top. Especially, especially when I got two ships, man. It's yeah. not worth because it's, it's also double the surface. And look at this. I can I can do things like this. Like I yes. can just pass by. No. Oh. See. Oh God. You used to not get hit. Idiot. <laughs> That's all you have to do is not get hit, man. That's it. Cause How it's, is it so hard for you? I find that's like the case with a lot of games, actually. They're, yeah. I, I, it's like one of those philosophies Avoid. where if you don't make mistakes, you'll do better than if you um, uh, hit it's, more. It's the different. It's the defensive versus off offensive playing. Yeah. This is a very a very defensive. I think game. it's highly defensive from my. Because there's a lot coming at you so far. Oh, see, like, again, I tried to get into that circle, and it just fucks me up. So, the skill levels. Novice plays, uh, starts with double ship and three reserves. Yeah, Difficulty weird. ramp up is slower, so it actually does affect the game. As soon as they said it's the kid mode, I'm like, I gotta get <laughs> off this mode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't have self-respect. <laughs> I need it. Uh, standard, most like the arcade. Player starts with a single ship, three reserves. Advanced, more difficult than standard. Player starts with one ship. You gotta try that one, man. Let's and two in reserve, goes. yes. Enemies move faster, enemy missiles are faster, enemies take no. off more frequently. Extra ships are added during the fly-in sequence. Oh, so extra. I'm doing it. Yep, oh yeah, yeah. I'm doing it. Challenge, this is a special mode where you just compete with challenges stages, all eight challenge stages Dude, in a row. Dude, that's fun, that's be cool. Oh, the rules are during challenge mode. Please come at me. You start with get a game with one ship active, three in reserves. If you just successfully destroy all 40 oh, no. ships during the challenge oh, stage, no. you either double up your ship, or if not already, or already doubled up, earn a reserve ship. Oh. Did you see I missed it, man? So that's going to be tough. That bums me out. Getting, your, no! getting all 40 in the first My challenge technique. mode. Wow. I don't think I... Um, if you do not successfully destroy all 40 ships during the challenge stage, your ship explodes and you lose a life. Oh, oh my god. That is brutal. So that's going to be a hard, hard challenge. Uh, once all ships are destroyed, the game ends. There are no bonus ships awarded for achieving a particular score. 20k for non-challenge oh, modes. Screw you, lobster ship. Move the joystick oh, up and down no, to cycle between the four menu screens. If you do not move the joystick or start the game, yes. just, awesome. It's your last life. But Excellent. it's but it's the last go yeah. at this, okay? Because it's the next one. Play. Well, the next one's the challenge stage, it is, right? Just so in I'd time. like to see if I can if I can get just there because I might be able to get like a, a real high score if I don't yes. screw yeah. up. You would. you would. There you go. This shouldn't. Oh, I'm not gonna speak too fast. <laughs> yeah, because this is your last lives. Oh goddamn! No no no! Oh no! Uh, there's, no there's nothing I could do. I was in the corner. Yeah, you gotta watch those corners. They are they are safe to go to, but once you're in there, they'll shoot for it. What so you gotta what move a out. Shame, man. I was so close to the dream. Um, it's two ships and difficulty switches. Seven. The left and right switches control the firing from player one and player two. Ah, uh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, you're on the board. Did I do on better standard. than last time? I must have. You, I think um, you you did, and you're kicking your old score out. Good. Okay. There's progress is being made. So let's go over to advanced. Let's see how this goes. Cool. Let's see how we do. Do you have one less ship, it appears? Uh, no. Oh, yeah, you start with one less ship. On advanced, because I think I started with three, man. And the enemies start diving immediately. Yeah. I think, I think this is more like the arcade. I can't remember if the, sh the ships start diving in the arcade right away. Yeah, this okay. is obviously a harder game. Oh, yeah. I, I love do. that there's different high scores. Yes, yeah, and that's a really good way to do it, because you can't compete a high score of uh, on a novice compared to an expert. It just doesn't make sense. Do I have to shoot you? Oh, uh, just like, wow. There we go. Hey! And that is 
that is so perfect to the arcade. Yeah. That that uh, tractor beam, it's really, really well done. How many levels does this have, friends? Can you let us know? I don't know if anybody Yeah, I haven't looked knows. up the arcade information I'd be, I'd yet. I'd be curious about that if anybody knows how many levels there are. I mean, so far, I haven't gotten past level 6, but I've only played this thing oh, no, for the I lost first time chance. ever for like an hour. <laughs> 99 levels, dude. That's a lot. <laughs> Eight challenge ah. stages. That's insane, man. Yeah. Arcade has unlimited. Un oh, it just goes forever. Oh. That's cool. I wonder if I get my ship back the next level, because I. Oh, you will. I well. It'll come it back, but you. But you, I died too. No, it'll come back. Uh, you, because it's like you just have to like see if you can get it. Yeah, hopefully. We will see. Oh, he said there's unlimited levels, but not challenge stages. So I guess at a certain oh, point you stop just... getting challenges and you just end up. This is definitely harder. You can pop back to standard if you want. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna go to the challenge. Yeah, do challenge. See what this is like. Ah, this is this is the. This is hard because you start with one ship, and unless you shoot all of them, you don't get that second ship. Wow. Ninety nine levels, eight challenge stages. Oh, challenge stages repeat. Oh. Oh, so I don't get my extra ship. <laughs> Shit. That's it. <laughs> Shit, man. Do you have to do it on the first one or all of them? All, every single, you have to shoot every single enemy. And then you get like And a, then you get a double ship. I guess if you want to practice the challenge stages, man, yeah. this would be the way to do it. Definitely the way to do it. Oh my god. It's going to be so hard to get a double ship. Yeah, on my, without double ships, the best I could do was 24. That was, that was I did 20, 25. 25. That's pretty good, man. Okay. But that was, I found, I found that I could get 24. But you die. <laughs> really? Yeah, you either get an extra ship or you die. So wow. now it's the second. No, you go back to the first challenge stage? Nope, second one. Okay. Whoa. Then I die again. <laughs> this is a great way to practice this, though. Oh, yeah. If you're a serious Galaga player, that's amazing. You can just kind of like skip. To skip me, ahead. it's like if you're it's going to the driving range if you're like a golfer. That's right. It's yeah. totally or the what putting it. green. Yeah. I haven't memorized the second um, pattern yet. He said, Wink Dot says that he, as he recalls in the arcade game at level 20, it gets um, so fast it's impossible, at least for him. Oh, so 20 is like the cutoff for, yeah. for normal normal humans. Yeah. That's where <laughs> like, champions. that's where you watch those crazy Tetris players oh, that are yeah. like on like super ridiculous levels. <gasps> what is this? Is it butterflies? Oh, dragonflies. Dragonflies, man. That's really cool. Oh my God. Whoa, yeah, you've got to learn this shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. It feels to me there's probably a point in this one where, like, you essentially need double ships. Well, yeah, pretty much. You know, so you'd need to, like, at a, get double ship probably on the first one. Brutal. And then keep going. Brutal. For docs on CDF, basically download the most recent source... For Draconia. Can I try this? Um, this kind of Good one. Luck. I don't oh, think I'll do very well. I'm just. It just looks fun because it's a bit different. Brutal. And then I'll let you play um, another like um, uh, regular Normal. one or whatever I one think you regular. want. Regular. I'm gonna standard, go for regular. Standard. Be, see if you can get a cool score. I'd like to see. Um, oh yeah. I'll just like. I'm not gonna steal your score. <clears throat> when I was preparing for the show, I was like, oh my god, am I hyping this too up too much? Is 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 everybody going to be disappointed? Uh, I don't, I, that's, that's, and then I'm like, oh my god, this is like beyond wildest dreams. I heard like, a sound from Galaga. your mouth that I've never heard from <laughs> you ever before. I've never heard. Because you're a pretty like mm. centered guy, you know? I would yeah. say some people like a sine wave. Um, you're, you're like a steady, you know. <laughs> so to see steady you get that be. excited is, is amazing. Oh my god. Yeah, this is... Because this is... If anything, it's underhyped. Well, knowing what the game is now, yes. This this is worthy of any um, this news is worthy of any retro retro like website or anything. Like this should be screamed from the mountaintops that Galaga has been ported to the twenty six hundred. Yeah. Something thought impossible before. Well that's like, impossible. But that's the thing, man, it's so <laughs> smart and cool that like John decided to do it this way. It so I feel so honored, key. I'm not gonna lie. I feel so honored that, that you're the 
the fourth person in the world to ever play this That's game. It's insane. Like one of the most beloved games ever. Created. And then also for like, I've been, certainly the first person who's played Galaga for the first time <laughs> on too. this. You know what I mean? People are screaming, you're not worthy. <laughs> Definitely you're not, not worthy. worthy. <laughs> Galaga is the reason I chose to buy the 7800 over the NES. Yes. Um, I have uh, the guy who did, this is the, the artwork. Um, for the 7800 version of Galaga um, signed by um, the artist and I also got him to sign the 7800 cartridge of, of Galaga and to show you how much how much I like Galaga <laughs> that's, these that's are on a... my walls of, uh, like there are shots firing at Galaga's up there and I've got Oh, dude, these butterflies. Extra Galagas Dragonflies, here. And... Whoa. There we go. The red and white. I don't know if you've seen that. It's hiding up there because I haven't hung them on the walls yet. But, like, can you tell it's it's my favorite game? <laughs> I don't know where I can put this. I'll put it here. Dude, if Tanya comes back, we should let her play. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, so I did terribly, but it's cool. I, I'm, I'm so happy oh, I got to so try that out. Because that's the only way I probably would ever get to play some of those later challenge look, levels. Look, <laughs> look, the dream is real, man. Like, like, John, did you the, did you know? Were you aware that this is my favorite game? Like, did you did you understand? I was supposed to just <laughs> said I was dying seeing you sit there with a Galaga pillow and framed. Picture. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, I was supposed to knew. Right? Yeah, because he... Cause... Oh, is this Galaga? Yeah, that's yeah, Galaga. That's Galaga for the 7800. Damn. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and it's cool. I like your... You, you showed them last time, but it's cool to see the framed pictures now. Yeah, I still haven't hung them up. I'm still looking for an original Galaga marquee from the arcade machine. Um, I haven't seen one at conventions, so let's... Uh, let's start the standard. Oh, he said that um, oh, Mike he told me know. about the Galaga frame and pillow, so he had an inkling. So it's a beautiful coincidence. Oh, it out. Magical coincidence. I am truly honored. Like, this is Dude, I can one see of why the this highlights is... of my life, actually. <laughs> I can... <laughs> to not, un to not uh, understate it. <laughs> or overstate it. That's amazing. Oh, it's so good. You're like, you're like, my marriage, screw that. <laughs> I said one of. I didn't say the highlight, because that would be pretty terrible. No, I know. I just, I love the idea of a character who's just like, you know. I mean, another highlight is my film is showing in New York in three weeks. Dude, it's... A, in, it's in Times Square. We'll call this a good month. Yeah, oh, it's, it's a good month. This. What is wrong with this? My, oh, my auto fire was on. Damn it! Oh, maybe that was. I was struggling. Um, yes. Um, you accidentally pressed uh, Mega Fire. Oh, that'll do it. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna reset. Do it. Reset. Cause yeah, I was. I felt like I was like. I felt like I was doing better before. Hi, you joined us for the stream. I should have wore my. Uh, actually, I'm gonna change shirts in a second. Cool. <laughs> um, after this game, to a more appropriate shirt. That would have been amazing. Pixel, if I it's not time to <laughs> fuck with James. <laughs> the, not that time. The, the cat that like never ever comes to say hi is like during hey, Galaga stream. Let's not do that. So sweet. Yeah, he's he had his he had two teeth taken out, so he's probably feeling a lot better now that he's healed up some more. Ship time. Okay, watch. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, that's dude. such an awesome touch, John, that you did that, that you allowed the ship to fire in, in the random directions while it's spinning around. It's so good. Ah, there's tons of guys attached to him. It's annoying. Oh no, it's gone. No. Yeah, it's My a stamp. short window, man. It is. I swear I'd never experienced that. Am I playing the wrong Galaga? Is that what happens in the arcade? Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm. Yeah, 
We're not gonna we're not gonna do that to James. No, don't jump on the equipment either. <laughs> Please. <laughs> don't. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now I can't remember if my ship came back. Oh eventually. it'll come back. It'll okay. come back. It's it always does. It just you have to like wait a bit. Um Oh god. Dude, it's not easy <laughs> shit, man. Come on. <laughs> Pixel does want to turn to play, man. He's, oh, he knows that there's Galaga. And yeah. he's... He wants a he wants a shot at it. He wants he wants his turn. He's prowling for something. We need like a handheld camera we can just cut to and I can just <laughs> show everybody what's going on. Oh yeah, yeah. No, he's on the he's on the cat cam. Oh, he's on the, the cat Atari, cam. Oh the shit, cam. man! Actually, he's nailing it. He Is framed he? himself perfectly. Oh nice. He couldn't have found a better mark. Oh, so Johnny um, said, I think that there is yeah, a bug yeah. or feature not yet implemented. <laughs> uh -huh, yes. If the red ship is in formation with a boss, it should stay in formation when it wraps around. That's what I thought. It's added to his uh, to-do list. Dude, if that's what you're, like, adding to your to-do list, you've done a good job. <laughs> yeah, if that's the only thing. If these that are, minor thing. If these are the issues we're facing. <laughs> ah! Better. I think I missed like a bunch actually. <laughs> yeah. Just a bunch of Galagas. Hits of 33, that's good. Uh, eh. you know, the best I've been able to do is 29. Should be getting 40. Hey! Hey! And dude, Pixel's attacking the, the bugs on screen, man. I know that. He knows. Keep the two, keep the guy. Potentially the first time I've ever seen him do that. I'm sure you've oh, seen what the, the kamikazes hell? are motherfuckers, man. They are pss, 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 every time. Stay out of there. Pss. Do you want me to pull him up? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, but oh, I have to fine. not block you. Yeah, as mm. long as he's not near the 2600, because if he steps on the power cable, it could like jiggle it out. And... Pss, pss, okay, he's pss, for pss, sure on it. Yeah. Just grab him off there. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, I died anyway. Can <laughs> you shut it? Um, sure. Yeah, oh. yeah. Friend, you are a good cat. But we <laughs> play homebrew games. There we go. <laughs> Give him a turn. Yeah, man. That's what he was asking for. He was, but... He's like, how come... He's not great at games. <laughs> yeah. He's great at attacking things directly on the screen, but he doesn't understand the joystick very well. Yeah, well, someday <laughs> somebody will invent, like, a touchscreen no, cat do. game, they man. they do. They have them. Do they? For um, iPads I, I, they... and uh, tablets so that they're touchscreens and they attack things that come on the screen. Do, Ooh, I, I'm not doing do you think cat... I mean, I wonder what... The... If, if a cat would actually dig it or yeah they like it they like chasing it but it's kind of bad training because then they attack your tv <laughs> yeah it's not it's bad news it's, it's bad not... news <clears throat> it's like taking a kid and just having them punch like a like a wall <laughs> yeah and then, as and a then, game. which has like a face of another child oh, on it yeah. <laughs> it's kind of an issue punch him johnny punch him <laughs> and they show up to like elementary school like just the first kid <laughs> Isn't my, this a game? Isn't this what we do? My dad taught me to punch kids. What's, <laughs> what's happening at the O'Brien house? That's right. <laughs> Not good things. Stage seven with... Wow. One. But, I'll tell you, James, you've made it farther than I have Ooh. with less lives. Because yeah. you kind of messed up a couple did, times early on, which is fine, but the only way I could get this far was to play flawlessly, like, you know, to get both ships. Oh, you know what I mean? So maintain like, them? Yeah, so... Oh, what oh. the... Uh. Okay, I'm going to go change shirts okay, to cool. something more appropriate. Sounds good. I'm going to play one more round, and then we'll see. We'll see how we, how we do. Okay, zero page. Oh... Hey, oh, I'm gone. That's depressing, man. That's very depressing. Yeah, dude, okay, you gotta download your own thing. Let's see how I do. I don't think... I'm still learning this Galaga situation, man. I don't know. Okay. 
Oh, it's easier without the auto fire though. James is right. It was on before and it was like it was rough. Little things make a difference. I don't think I could fuck with advanced. There's no way. There's no way. Cause like I can barely do the standard version, let alone. Okay, come on. Okay, I was hoping that it would like. Mm. I want my shit. So. I want my secret shit. Come on, are you gonna do it? No, I don't think so. No, no. Uh, you do have to do it in the right order. You, it's the second ship that comes down, yeah. and you can't. Come on. And also, you can't shoot. See my shirt? Oh, dude. <laughs> dude. More appropriate. Perfect. <clears throat> Gallagher shirt on. I wonder if I'll be able to get it. Oh, I mean, I guess I got like, uh, I got, I got some options. Yeah, so. yeah, you'll be fine. <clears throat> Not an easy game. Yeah, oh, so like in the first rounds, I've been ducking over to the left as like mm. a technique. And yes. that was what fucked me later on because I felt as though I could do that same approach. Yeah, but you can't stay in the left because the bullets will come into the Yeah, left. it was like it was like for early rounds, it was a good approach, but yeah. it was not a good approach. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, careful. Whoa. Okay, it's the second one that comes down middle. So don't shoot them. Come on, friend. There we go. Oh, sh <laughs> oh fuck! He's like, bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> it's literally the second. Oh no! Oh no! Are you wearing Gallic underwear too? Well, we'll never know. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, what a shame, man. <laughs> Thank you, hey. John. Hey, look. Oh, thanks, what friends. The hell? Is that allowed? I don't know. That's not I don't. Normal, I don't think it? it's gonna give me before the level. Or it might give me one go at it. Might give me one go. I'm not at an it. expert. That would be on... awesome if it did. <clears throat> I don't think it will. Is it? <clears throat> oh. oh. I, call, I call that a failure. <laughs> It'll come back. <clears throat> tractor beam. I want to read the rules on the tractor beam. Whoa. Occasionally during a level, a boss ship will fly to a particular spot in the screen and emit a tractor beam, emit, attempting to capture your ship. If your ship is captured in the tractor beam, it'll turn red or blue. Oh, it's not. If you shoot the captured ship's boss while in formation, eventually the captured ship will attack you solo. You do not want that, because he's your enemy at that point. So it doesn't have perfect rules of exactly how the tractor beam works, but as far as I remember, you can't sh shoot his accompanying bug that's attached to the Galaga, or he won't come down. I think down. I did better than I normally do. Let's see. 20, 27 with one. That's the best I've done so far. at least With the, one, yeah. yeah with with one. one, it's really hard. At least hard. for the bonus phase. You want to shoot it once while it's in formation, so it's blue. Oh, okay. So to prep it. So at least one of them has to be blue. That's interesting. Makes sense. Okay. Whoa. I love that they, like, turn from bugs into, like, <laughs> kamikaze Oh. oh, I think he just got an extra life because it played some music. Perfect timing, man. Thank yeah, you. just in time. Thank God. Oh, oh I didn't... Uh, Lobster let's... ships. Read out the high score. If the current player achieves a high score in the current skill level, the high score entry screen will be displayed. Use the joystick to enter up three initials. Move the joystick up and down to change the current initial. Blinking. Press the button to move to the next initial. Oh, we'll do it. I don't think... I think I'm going to die. I think that was a mistake. Move. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, you got it. You'll wow. get it. You'll get it back. I hope so. Come on. Look. Oh, oh, you shot your ship. <laughs> I got a thousand points from killing myself. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a good thing to teach the kids. <laughs> no. But it happened. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh no! Okay, you can do another round if you want. Yes. Ugh, I'll do one more. Did you ever play GA Plus? Yes, I have played GA Plus. Yeah, it is pretty cool. And um, what's the other one? Uh, Galaga eighty eight slash Galaga ninety one is awesome. So where I love are we at? That no, game, show especially me the... on the uh, Turbo Graphics oh. sixteen uh, credits. Credits at uh, the top of it. Uh, yeah, start right from the um, top. So, uh, special thanks to Nathan Strum for all of his uh, hard work oh, the yeah, last great few weeks. I'm sure graphics. that dude's been working oh his butt off. And playtesting as well. Even as he was putting in a 60-hour week of work. 
That's that's dedication, dude. His amazing wow. work on the graphics and discussions on the game design really inspired me to move forward with this project and enabled us to put the game together as quickly as we did. Uh, and he also was the sole game tester and found many bugs, some that wouldn't seem to go away. So thanks again, Nathan. Some bugs in Galaga, yeah. Okay, also, special yeah. thanks to Ross Keenum for his amazing sounds and oh, music. They're so good. Oh, it's insane, dude. Ross and I hadn't met or spoke before I reached out to him a month ago, and he was very gracious in providing me with all the help I needed to get the music and sounds put into the game very quickly. He even um, uh, spent some extra time making a few extra music and sound effects in short order. Thanks, Ross. Yeah, because I imagine there were some bits and pieces that were They're missing. missing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And, so he said, there's no timetable for a release, but right now the game is about 90% complete. Right. I will be talking to Al at Atari Age, and we'll come up with a plan, including box labels, manual options, etc. Oh, Stay yeah. tuned, and thanks for joining. Smiley yes. face. Yes, thank you for joining. <clears throat> I can't wait to plunk my money down for this game in the box. Some dream come true. Like, like when I was thinking about it, I was like, could it be Galaga? I'm like, nah, no, that's, that's it's, impossible. It's too, it's too crazy of a game. It's, it's that problem. It's too if crazy. It's, if, if, and it's also too, like, personal. It's too... You can't... You yeah. Can't, sometimes you can't let yourself dream, because if you do, you'll <laughs> you just let, get disappointed. You get let down. Yeah. There are some dreams that are too big. No! Oh. <laughs> that was lucky. And now it's gone. Oof. Oh, the bug. Oof. <laughs> the bug that takes away my ship. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty. I'm, I'm really lucky that I got, the, in the first time, I managed to get so many double ships. It's. Yeah. It's yeah. a whole deal, man. You did really well. Oh yeah, so Johnny says, which is very, very a, a good little thing. He says, I'm not aware of uh, the arcade bugs. If anyone sees anything that doesn't match the arcade, he said, I'm not a Galaga expert. Send me your suggestions. Yeah, because this is so close to the arcade. I think he should really strive for arcade perfection, like absolute, you know, shot timing, everything. Because this is so close. Why not? Why not replicate any bugs that are in there? Like everything. Yeah, man, it's a 90%. Yeah. Complete. Which is crazy. It's, it feels this is like a very, very complete game. Yes. Oh, yeah. I think the only one that's really kind of there is the one. There's my ship. Hey! <laughs> it comes in and attacks Don't kill you. yourself. Yeah. Even though you'll get a thousand points. I don't want a thousand points. I want double shot. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Lobster uh, ships. Oh, well, I still have a life. I can still get double ship. Just need to shoot that bug beneath it. Ah, get in my way. There we go. That would be a lot easier. And I need to shoot him once. There. Good choice. Yeah, I see you gotta prep, prep it. it. That's yeah. smart. Yeah, so it's not as hard. I can just do it because he'll disappear again <laughs> if I don't. No! Oh, no, my shot. You killed yourself. Oh, but I got an extra life. Just in time at 20,000. Just in Ooh. time. <clears throat> we'll win the 2019 Fire <laughs> Awards. Daddy, well, we'll see how the voting goes. Okay, man, that's not in our hands. It's <laughs> funny, though. It's a, it's a great point. Yeah, it's out of our hands. Oh. Well, it is that. It's also the joke in like the Oscars that the best actor award goes to someone who plays like a biopic, like yeah, someone everybody knows. So there is definitely something to be said about like if you if you do like an arcade perfect homebrew of a beloved game, you got an edge. <laughs> got a bit of an edge. Um, so is there anything else that anybody wants us to try here? I think John was saying, oh, try the rapid shot. So I'm going to try that. Okay. Um, I think it's like you hold it down and it's just rapid fire. And then I can turn it off. So right now, rapid fire is on. It doesn't seem as... You like know it, what does, I mean? it kind of bursts two and then kind of waits. Because you waits. only get two on the screen at a time. So you do have to wait for it to come back. 
So if you want accuracy, you should be doing it manually. Probably. I found this very but useful. But for that, it's good. Great when I had double ships and I just kind of waved from side to that, side. That's when it would be quite good. That was when I found it to be the most useful. Single ship. Yeah, Johnny says Aardvark still gets my vote. Oh god. Whoa! I didn't think you were allowed to do that. That's amazing. I mean, uh, why that, wouldn't why wouldn't you be able to, though? In the That's... arcade, that doesn't happen, I'm pretty sure. Okay, cool. So that might be a bug. If somebody could check on that, you shouldn't be able to shoot... The guy that's abducting you. abducting you with the tractor beam. But what kind of world do we live in where we can't shoot the aliens that are abducting us, James? I know, I know. <laughs> that's, I... That's, not a, that's not a world I want to live in. <laughs> I've never seen that before, and I was pretty sure I would just rapid fire every single time I got caught. But I do did play the NES version a lot, and that is not a perfect port. So it's better uh, on the ah. it's better on the wrists for sure. It is, yeah. To not be like Summer Carnival '92 on the 2600. Good luck. That's another crazy shooter. So what did you shooter. switch over to right there? Us uh, um, non-rapid fire. So this shows. So you have to press it. Okay. You can totally do that in the arcade if I remember correctly. Oh, okay. Cool. So then it's totally accurate and it's very risky shooting while you're spinning around. And it makes captured. sense, man. As I said, if you're, if you're getting if you're getting wailed on by aliens. Yeah. I mean, why wouldn't you be able to? That's that's the thing. Man. Yeah, the single the single shot. Yeah, it does make a difference to me because I like pressing the button uh, individually. Oh, almost. That's only one. The way. dream was almost true. Yeah. Oh, good. I don't know how you would do that with one ship. Like in the challenge, uh, challenge mode. No idea. That's why you got to go to the driving range and just practice, right? <laughs> yeah. Just reset every time. Oh, do the that. first level. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh, not oh, bad. good work. No fire, Galaga bug. No fire. Oh, I guess there is a bug there. Okay. Nathan Strum found a bug to include. I want to just like control if it's a plus that, open it up, but we, we, we're at stream, so I won't do it. If it's, a bad, if it's a bad game-breaking bug, maybe it should be like an option. Yeah, for sure. If there's, so that if it there's... doesn't wreck the, the, the gaming experience. Yeah, you don't want to, yeah, you gotta be. Gotta be fair. Too. But I don't think anybody's like massively complained about the arcade version of Galaga, so I think it's not a game-breaking bug. Just don't do it. And I think, oh yeah, the, I I remember that one. It's like if you do certain things during. Ooh, ooh you see what you just did? No, uh, I don't have an extra ship. No, I didn't. What happened? You just killed your ship. Oh, the it ship was, came back. It was there, and you just oh, wailed. No. You just killed, like, I and, didn't you, and you didn't even get any points for it, too. You just, like, murdered your own <laughs> ship. Oh, no. I was like, oh, no. Oh, I didn't realize the okay. ship was still captured, but it's, I guess it has. It always been. comes back. He said you need to shoot the abductor oh, if that's it's your last true. ship. That's true. That's true. That's a way of getting out of it. If you accidentally get captured in the beam, you got to be able to get out of it if it's your last yes. ship. Yes. Oh, that dude, I suppose to... <laughs> oh, it's, I like I like uh, a John Tempo's response. I probably won't spend too much time trying to add bugs to the game. <laughs> there will be plenty of unintentional ones. <laughs> that's true. It's it is a good point for resource you know, management. It's kind of like, where do you want to spend your, your resources, yeah. game designers? Adding bugs. Adding bugs. Lots of bugs. But I think the no fire bug was a, um, you can do something during the attract mode, mm. and then when you actually play the game, you can't shoot anything, or the enemies can't shoot you, or something like that. And it's, it's just weird and not useful. <laughs> so I wouldn't work too hard on that one. Yeah. Oh, that's such a funny game game developer response to yeah, it is. community stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I beat my score. Or is it forty thousand? I think you beat it. It was either thirty or no, it was thirty nine nine. Was it? Yeah. Okay, let's see. So I wouldn't be able because I would think I was just really close to the challenging stage. Yay, challenging stage. Up to me. Oof. Whoa! 
Whoa! Not bad for that. That was really good. Man, this is. Uh -huh. One thing I dig about Galaga is you really have. Uh -huh. ooh, is you have this very obvious, um, uh, like. Not bad. Defended. That's fucking great, man. 33. It's crazy looking. And then you get all these bonuses too. Yeah. It's you have these nice like uh, totems that you can hit if you can hit these challenge stages. It's really yes. nice. It's it kind is. of a cool. It's a cool kind of freebie. Break. It's a cool it's a break. It's like. Because if this game was just non-stop levels, I don't know how much I dig that. I like that you get like it. You almost feel like okay, I made it to a uh, challenge stage. Definitely high score though, man. Yep. So that's good. Good one to stop on. Uh, I don't think anybody else wanted to see anything more. Because, yeah, I'm the one, only one who has this. So yeah. if you want to see some stuff, just type it in the chat right now. Um, oh, good way to end. Yeah, dude. Top, I just squeaked in by 50 points. Yeah, see, your last score was you crushed it quite yeah. quickly, actually. Yeah. Good score. Thank you, John. Yes. Not a great score, but a good score. That's I, right. Like, well, I need more practice, way more practice. Well, yeah, it's, it's a great score considering you kind of screwed up early on in a, in a couple dumb ways. Like, you lost your ships, you never got double ships. So, like, you did um, phenomenally good because it, it wouldn't be much to, to push for farther because if you just made sure you didn't make any mistakes yes. in the first couple rounds, you would have yeah. had way and, more. And kept double ships, yeah. So, Tanya's back. I don't know if you want to yell up. For yeah, her. let me go. I'll go grab her. We should get her to play around. Oh, definitely. And just to realize what had just happened. Um, save key support in the next build, John says. Uh, yeah, that would be super awesome so I can keep my scores. I'll, I'll get better scores so I don't mind too much. Oh, so it's possible to shoot them all down with the correct timing. That was satisfying. Yes, in the challenge mode in one player. Coming? In a second. Oh, okay. Looks like scoring screen bug is back. Not shooting the bosses twice. The scoring screen bug. Oh. oh. I'll just wait until Tanya gets in so she can slide in. Oh, slide. okay. Yep. Well, you can sit in this chair then. Okay, cool. In the meantime, I can chill out. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> what, like. what is the, the scoring? If I don't like how the game's going, I can just... Just stop it, yeah. <laughs> well, you can't stop the game. <laughs> um... Ian Norris says, where can we get this homebrew version? Um, yeah, is there, uh, uh, John, is there plans to release um, like a demo version of this game or a work in progress version? What is your, what is your plan for, is there going to be any only, binaries? Only cartridge release. <laughs> only cartridge. Never know. It's, this is, this is big. If you were this to, this is big. There's not a, it's not, I mean. If Everyone you, knows Galaga. If someone was a capitalist, <laughs> that would be the way to do it. Yeah. A lot of people like um, like the Aardvark, Aardvark mm -hmm. game. They released a demo version of that where it's a looped five five levels. That's a good point. So that's not a bad way to do it if you want to have a nice balance so people can play it. But also... But uh, but only get so far. Look. Look what it is. <gasps> come oh here. Come in. Come in. Come take a seat. <laughs> look what John made. Oh my god. That's amazing. <laughs> Galactic Heroes. Is that yep. what it's called? No. It's called Galaga. Oh my God! Oh, oh my in God! Challenge mode. Don't do that one. Oh, yeah, it's gonna be rough. Standard. Yeah. So this I is the to... surprise secret game. Wow. And he does not. He does not know that this is my favorite game. Yeah, yeah. And I <laughs> quickly change T-shirts. Oh, obviously. Oh. oh my goodness. Arena Foot says that's not Aaron. <laughs> no. Airline has no. disappeared. Yeah. The... The girdle of gender changing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It usually doesn't happen that fast. But, you know. John says hello, Tanya. Hello. Pixels running us too, man. Oh, yeah, so. they're all excited. Yeah. Well, you know. We oh, don't shoot the Galaga. Oh well. Oh, I. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> not playing properly. Just shooting I, everything. I haven't. I haven't played this game in a while, so. So you want to get double ships, right? Yes, yes, yes. I always forget that. Dude, I've never played this game before. Oh, really? So I was, I was <laughs> it's like position. so classic. I have no idea. It's so classic. Um, only from you referencing oh, okay. it. Yeah. That's actually the first time I've I heard at all about it. When was this game released? Is this like 80s? Uh, yeah, 80, 81? 81, 81, 83? What was it first released on? Was it just an arcade? And then. Ah, it came ah. out? <laughs> it's a 
hard game, dude. Oh, it, it is. is. It's a really it's hard very game. Challenging. It's a, like the first few times I played it, I, I was so, like, it's hopeless. So Johnny, John says, oh, it scrolled off. 81 in Paler. John says a demo will be released. That's smart. Um, oh, cool. But uh, Stella doesn't have support for the game yet. Oh. Get, up, get in there. Get in there. So they'll, they would have to say download the beta version. So maybe they want to wait for a full Stella um, release before releasing sense. it so everybody can easily wow. play it because not a lot of people would... Super! Oh, <laughs> you kind of no. got your ship? No, you didn't destroy I... your ship. No. It's still... Oh no, it's still there. What happens now? Don't shoot your ship! Oops. You got a thousand points for killing yourself. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't realize you could shoot it, so... I don't know what would happen there. You would, it would just sit up there until... It would, it would, it would, it would fly and start killing attacking you. you yeah. so actually, would she, it? She made I the right know. choice. I had it happen oh, once. Sorry. That's anybody, what it did. Does anybody oh, really? Yeah, I did oh, it at one point. And that's you what crashed happened. into... Yeah, I did it the exact the same enemy? thing. Well, I oh. shot it. No, I had it. Yeah, I did the same thing. I crashed <laughs> into it. And, and then, then it and started attacking you? Yeah, I believe oh. that was that was what went down. Oh, now, I mean the version of Stella you updated, not the Harmony. This, oh, I don't know this is the bonus level. I know, I'm terrible. No, this... <laughs> no I'm not terrible. It's the first no, time you picked really it up. Good. And it's doing it. This is better than I did the first time. So, Ian, no, this is not available to the public yet. You'll be releasing a uh, demo demo version of the game. Yeah, that's good. So yeah. maybe like the first five levels, single player, standard only. That's very good. Pretty good. This is so fun. It's a good game, <laughs> it man. It looks really, really good. Really good. Oh my good. god, yeah. Oh. It's, nah, it's, it's so good. Like, look at the graphics on the top there. Oh, it's there. perfect. The it's colors. Perfect. And, and the stars flickering the in the background. Yeah, play another round, dude. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got uh, the shots hit ratio got the levels there nice um it's got high scores so i'm not this right music yeah oh then yeah no, the music's on. great it's got the pauses when you know when your ship gets uh picked up and... i suppose it says smashing into the alien ship with a ship should kill you and land your captured ship hmm. interesting what does it mean by land so you get it back? And you're playing standard, actually. Yeah, standard. This is kind of standard. normal arcade. Normal mode. Yeah, yeah, yeah this, feels normal. Level. this feels pretty normal. I played normal. novice for a second, and it just didn't feel... That you can't. You don't get the beaming is of it? the ships. You get, oh. you get double ship right away. And so it just seemed kind of less less cool, because then it's, it's, you know... It's too easy. It's kids mode. Yeah, well, and the thing is, is then it's not rewarding when you get your like, yeah. ship. It should be hard. It yeah, should there be should hard. be... It's like you're not engaging with the game mechanics, and I think that's not... Uh -huh. good. Yeah, it's rough, eh? Like, how do you... How do you defend against some of these guys? They're just wailing on you. Ah. My hand slipped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Arena Foot's out. See you, Arena Foot. Hi. See you, Arena. He's, he's probably working or something. So, he wanted to tune in for the, the secret big reveal. Yay. Yeah, I do. So, there's I a bug. The screen, too. There's a bug that if you don't shoot the enemy on its first pass, your ship will go away. Oh, you lose it. Yeah, it's just a bug for now. Oh, okay. He's working on that. Now. Yeah. So wait. Oh, you got it. Dude! Double shit, man. Yep. No. Now you're... Now you can do them. Just try not to get hit. That's yeah. the yeah, goal. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's that's kind of the problem. Oh. So you're double the size. And <laughs> you then, are. And, and he... The, is it... <laughs> uh, is he a little bigger than the normal game? No. Then no? Um, or maybe it's just a bit stretched on the screen. It's hard to s like because of the pixel size. Um, I would have to. No, it looks the same oh. size as a Galaga, Ew. same width as a Galaga. So I think it's right. Nice, two hundred. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Um, I think we have done. Okay. Uh, this game. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, what time is it? So it's cool. Like, uh, quarter, it's like quarter to one. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So we're just gonna go through the other games that I you have promised. other games. Two okay. more, two I'll more, leave, but they're really, really, <laughs> really, really uh, uh, tiny ones. Okay. So. Um, let's do a nice summary of that. Um, amazing, unbelievable, <laughs> like astounding achievement. <laughs> like you, 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 just, you, you just top yourself every time, John. Um, in in ability and like it's unbelievable what uh, what you've achieved with this game. That people have said it could never be done on the twenty six hundred, and you proved them completely wrong. <laughs> Like, by far, 
like unbelievable like the sounds the 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 movements of the enemy ships having the patterns come in it's it's perfect like really it is perfect beyond some minor tweak tweaking bugs and he was right when it was like 90 to 95 percent done bostros put down he said it's obvious how this game was made for the 2600 he linked a, a gif of Shia LaBeouf, so I'm 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 guessing that it's oh. just do it. That's what I'm thinking. Or this, or, or it's either a, the either clapping. Or a, yeah. Let, let you guys let us know which one it is because we yeah, can't click on it. Yeah, it's either the clapping or he's like, oh. I think it's just do it. Uh, I'd go for the clapping. We'll see. Who we'll who? See. Yeah. Well, thank you, John. It's it was a it's complete the magic honor. Gift. Uh, it, oh, it's the. Oh. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. That's, know that's that one. Let's we're gonna click on it just so that we're in the know. Ah. Oh, oh, you're that absolutely one. right. That's totally I right. I forgot that was Shia LaBeouf actually, because <laughs> he's so done up. You guys need to get out more. It's the magic. <laughs> we get out more and go on the we're, internet. We're not, more. I know that. Not. I know that so game. I know that. A really great. I know looks that like gift. an early Famicom game from the. 20th. It does. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Photo Mank. <clears throat> so well, dude, I hope thank you, you for your hard work. I yeah, mean, to John Champo, Nathan Strum, and Ross Keenum for uh, their. Yeah. They're amazing achievements. And I suppose to for referencing, letting, letting letting him know about all this stuff. That it too. was already done, all the all the sounds. Because that's an amazing thing. I imagine that really helped the the. the it just kind of helps you have boost you forward that much further. Well, yeah, because you and quicker. I imagine the dude had a to do list as long as his arm, and it's <laughs> yes. inspiring to go. Oh wait, I that's can cross done. this off without having to go in there. And he had the code from his uh, DOS game already for yes. uh, for all the patterns and, and. So he had a he had a good lead on this. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't That's... matter. You still have to convert it to 2600, which has so many limitations. Holy cow. Yeah. So, let's uh, unfortunately turn off that game, which is probably one of the best games ever made for the 2600, or at least the hardest to convert game. I mean, I thought Mappy. Oh my god. Mappy's amazing, but this this is this is crazy. Um, so we're going to play Shield Shifter. Shoot for the stars, kids. That's right. That's and you the, will get there. You know? You know? And, I, and it's like I, like I always said, everything is better in space. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. Oh, let's check this Shield out. Shifter. Oh, let's see. 2009? Yeah. I'm going back in Reaching time. Reaching back. This is a very simple game. It's should a shooter. I, should I hit go and yeah, just jump in? Yeah, just shoot everything. Whoa, whoa, Pretty whoa. Much. Avoid and shoot. Whoa. Okay, it just land. Just like Galaga. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh avoid. shit, I see. It sits on the ground. For a little bit, and then and then that guy will shoot at you. I'll turn up the sound. This one's a little bit quieter than the last one. Wow, it limits your uh, movement for sure. Okay, so somebody was right. Somebody did uh, pick Galaga. For the for the last for the last game, so good on you. I I dismissed it no. completely. Okay, where are the instructions? Uh, Shield Shifter by John A. Redder, A.K.A. Neuronic. First posted July twenty eighth, two thousand nine, and like he just posted it, and that was it. Four K game. Other games he's made: Handy Pick, Hank, Casey's Crazy Nightmare, Keep Away, Shield Shifter, Strip Off, Strip Off Two, and UFO. And this is available at Good Deal Games, but its uh, store is currently shut down. And uh, a binary download at the Tactical Neuronics website. Um, so this is game is a spiritual successor to Strip Off, which we haven't played. We'll be playing that in the next show. Actually, Strip Off 2. And uh, answer the question, where all did those lost shield parts go after the aliens took it away? Uh, Johnny says, thanks everyone, got to get back to work. Real work, not 2600 programming. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for everyone who uh, tuned in for that and who are sticking around as well um, thank you for watching the amazing premiere it's of insane Galaga. I think that's a first for the show that's like if we were that's to do huge. like the highlights of zero page <laughs> oh, homebrew that's in it. this yeah. is like probably if you did like a like a top ten list that's number one. Oh, it is number one it's just the build for up sure. the everything Everything. and then also the personal uh, connection uh, to it that's, like, you know this, this has been sitting behind us 
for a year and a half, this Galaga poster. Just, just this, the Galaga pillow. Begging, just enticing <laughs> somebody make the brave Galaga. soul like, to dive into the deep end. I've been begging end. somebody to make Galaga. And the funny thing is that he didn't even know that. That's he amazing. Didn't, he didn't, had no clue. And thank you for choosing the show to yes. uh, do this, man. Yeah, That's the very special. You did it! Yeah. Um, yeah, very special. We're completely honored um, that you I'm, chose us. I don't know if the if the um, the like uh, what would you call it difficulty is gonna rise up in this game because I, <laughs> yeah, I, I, so. I think I got I think I got the, the idea now and I mean obviously I'm at one life and shit can happen. Did you I'm, die? Yeah, you oh, did. Oh, like many but times, but, but well, mostly because I was still figuring out like the mechanics right. of like these red things and then I would make made a couple dumb moves. Now that I'm kind of got tuned into like what the rhythm of this thing is. Yeah, it's got shades of Yards Revenge where you are breaking through a breakout a Breakout, well, I was going to say. Where yeah. you're breaking through uh, a shield that's moving, and, and Yard's Revenge has a moving one, Breakout doesn't. But see, here's the thing, man. Like, It's really not that hard to dodge that. Like, Look at this. Like, I, I just yeah. waited for it. So that's one of the issues is like, I don't have to move that much. So it's yeah. so like I'm currently just hanging out, waiting for it to come at me. As soon as it shoots, I just dodge out of the way. It's the same spot each time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's... it's, it's it's not too bad. Although to kill it, you sort of need to hit it on while it's moving. Um, but and see, so you have to. Because the thing is, is if I move too much, well then I risk hitting that thing, and I right. can really easily dodge his bullet. Like his bullet is not hard to dodge. You can just like it's it almost is. like a one frame movement. Like yeah, because you can see it coming. And now I got him. Way. So like, uh, see, I don't know. Does it seem to be increasing? No. No. Um. It says shoot your way through an alien shifting shields to give yourself a clean shot attacking the alien queen and i can also tell when it's coming because it's only when it lines up with me right so right now okay it's lined uh, up i can dodge so it's, it's a really easy one to kind of figure not out a random way. shot no so see like that so right now i'm just hanging out okay now it's shooting so now is an issue because i'm so uh trapped in but then reset yeah the alien queen shoots lasers and drops sticky bombs the sticky bombs will block your ship's path for a few moments the spaceship moves closer to the shield each time. Ten alien queens are destroyed. Play against a computer or deal, duel against a friend in two-player battle mode. That's probably more fun. Oh, yeah, we'll have to play two-player battle mode. Press fire on, on joystick two. Oh, can I join in? Yeah, fucking hit it. Let's see if it no, works. No, that's to start the game, I guess. So we'll have to wait. Oh, no, see, the only time this sucks is when you're, like, trapped in the corner. I think you've pretty much nailed it. Yeah, I mean... Should the, we reset? Because see, look at this, right? Like, it, it arrived, I moved. It just has such a, such a rhythm that... Oh! Ah, I see. Oh, yeah. Of course, you have to... Oh, it takes me a while to recharge my bullet. Yeah, I think um, I got a serious advantage. I'm oh, like... there, I can drop that. Ah, okay. So that's gonna... But, but that's actually not doing the same mechanics. Oh, see, that's good if you just double up the... Just bomb it and shoot it all at the same time. Yeah. I, I think you have the advantage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty hard to... to if to... my bullets dropped a bit faster, I think it would have been a But see, the problem more... is, is it's just, like, they're so easy to dodge. Yeah. That, like... Because, see, like, bam... See the the where where you and the and right now you have see there it actually held before it wasn't because like right now I just have to like knock it locked into the corner. <laughs> oh, see that's how I do it. I like trap yeah. you. But even then it's like it takes some serious strategy versus I just have to fucking like wail, ah. just keep wailing on you and there's. It's like break out with a spaceship. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, with a rotating uh, shield. Yeah, as soon as I see that white thing, because look, I can wait. Like, I'm not going to move. Shoot the white thing at me. There we go. <laughs> like, actually, like, it's seriously hard. So hold on. I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Like, like I had, I had, I can it's have my hand of off of the joystick and still dodge it. So it's yeah, I've got not even come close to. So like, it. there is an issue. You almost had me, but the problem is, is that uh, it uh, wasn't quick enough. Uh, and so and and, <laughs> and eventually, I'll just kill your shields if I just keep shooting. Your shot is so fast. Like, and no my way movement is that. so, it's so good in comparison to yours too. Yeah. 
See, right here is where you have an advantage. For a second, and then I, I got out of it. Ah. Like, I, I have to kind of put myself into a corner. Yeah. And even then, like, because, see, we're getting to a place where it's almost inevitable I'm going to start hitting you soon. Yeah. <laughs> no. Also, we have been playing Galaga. Which is a hell of a warm up for something yeah, like it's, this. It's I'm quite not a shooter. Lie. For accuracy and aiming, yeah. yeah just, I'm not gonna hit you. I don't know how I could. It's, it almost, it feels like. Are you like, just killing the blocks? Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> and sort avoiding of, killing I'm me. just mostly trying to not get hit by you and then just unloading. Oh, okay. Because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to kill you because my feeling is, is like, I'll get you eventually. So I just oh. need to like wait. Because now it's like, eventually I'm going to kill you. There's no <laughs> way around it. So what I got to do is just like, basically, so yeah, see? Yeah. And then I'll get more points because of killing a thing. Yeah, we get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. So not, not much to it. I think it, a little bit more play testing and balancing out um, yeah like the enemy shots need to be a bit faster um or your shots need to be a bit slower no no not slower because no, then you can slower. just dodge them everybody be dodging. that's the problem and or more layers of like um or shields space. that yeah. get added you yeah know, if, I had, a if cool. I had a shield yeah that i could press up because only pressing down always. or if you could repair the the like uh, areas yeah yeah if i could just add but then it would still just be a standoff at that point. But that, but at least there'd be yeah. some more tactics going on there. Yeah. So not bad, but not a lot of playability. It did. It does feel like going though. It's got it. It's one of those rough ones where it does feel like we went from like, oh shit, I had it. And it just didn't do okay. this thing. Got it. Okay, there we go. Last one. Yep. And then horde. Oh, I want to find out if this is zombies. Know if it is. Yeah, it's like we went from like advanced Dungeons and Dragons to like uh, rock paper scissors. No offense to that. <laughs> no. There's nothing wrong with rock paper scissors, but it's just a different. It's like a lower key thing. Yeah. From I gotta somehow defend ships and <laughs> get two ships. And, okay. Yeah, yeah. The horde. So the horde uh, is by Jared Gray Whoa, West. Okay, I, I didn't expect it to start like immediately. <laughs> I, would think, I thought it would have like a title screen or something. It's by Jared Gray West, who I believe okay, is so in the I, chat. I, fought, or was I in shot the something. Chat. Do I grab it? Yeah, it's it's like Tron. I gotta, gotta grab it. your okay. grab your uh, frisbee, I guess. Cool. Oh, that's fun. So this man. first came out in uh, first announced August nineteenth, two thousand seventeen. This build is from December third, two thousand seventeen. It's an eight K game. Other games by uh, Jared Gray West. Atomic Disco, Atomic Disco 2, uh, Hysteria, Lost Cat, which we will play Whoa, on. Oh, dude! Which we'll play okay, on the 12 hours. mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to get your bullet back, but it got him in the end. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Quantum Tunnel, which we also played. Damn. Great game. Yeah. Uh, Red Blue, 3D game. Spies in the Night, Spies in the Night 2. Whoa. So this is the guy who made Spies in the Night. Oh, cool, man. And The Horde. Come and this on, binary is available on, on the Atari on. Age forums. Come up, come up. Come get me. Yes, no. Hello all, it's been a while. I've been itching to get back into some Batari basic programming. This is a very early work in progress since the game has been kicking all around in my head. Tentatively called the Horde. We didn't change it. Whoa, okay, so I only get two points? <laughs> <laughs> Rough. And there's 255 unique enemies in the game. Whoa! So, no. the, the Horde. Did I get hit? Of enemies. Yeah, oh, you're not green anymore. Oh god. Oh god. No. Now, you're green. now I'm green. Do I pick up life? Oh, no, uh, no. you're yellow. Oh god. I gotta get my thing. Yeah. There you go. Okay. And candy, I think, gives you life. Uh, Whoa, he's teleporting. The Some game shit got real. Sh gameplay challenge. Shit got real. I hope will help from the players yeah. adapting to the different ways they're put together. Yeah, uh, it's already happening. It's real. <laughs> Look at this. This, this the, 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 we had a teleporter. Now we've got like a regular. Oh, a teleporter guy. Yeah, he teleported. I want that. Give it to me. Okay. Oh God. I like it. Milton Buddha says some decent potential there. Holy shit, yeah. Dude. Yeah. TITFOS says looking forward to seeing Galaga. I'll have to catch it on YouTube. Yep. James's character could have had a reflection mode to make it where Erlen's bullets come back at him at high speed. Yeah. That, that would have worked. Been awesome. So I could like have a shield so they'd be bouncing well, I back. Some, I need some help. I need some help. Oh, the candy yeah, gives you health too. Do you have a gun now? Is it? I think you always had a gun. No, I didn't. I had a, I had a, 
Oh, oh. so this is a, a direct shot. You don't have to catch it again. Yeah, which is like way better. Some, well, it has some advantages and disadvantages because that that bouncing uh, one was cool in its you, own way. Because you could make a, a barrier that they yeah, have to cross. Yeah, I, I could kind of like dodge their bullets and shoot too. Oh, That's that. true. Uh, think of it as a version of Strawberry Shortcake's musical matchups, only with more ass kicking. Each enemy is gi di dynamically generated. Each enemy looks different, built from a collection of heads, torsos, and legs. <gasps> That's very cool. I've never no, seen that in no. a game. An exquisite corpse. Where <laughs> it's dynamically, is that what the, the name is? Oh, it's, it's put pieced together? For... That's where, like, they, it was this old, like, the the um, uh, dataists and, like, these. It's an art thing where what you would do is you'd take a piece of paper and you would draw something. You'd turn it over and oh. someone else would connect it and turn it over and connect it. So you get these, like, random, really interesting kind of collective drawings people oh, would do. Okay, cool. Oh, I died, died. at nine. I'm talking too much. Yeah, no, I I, uh, I saved myself at the... So that's cool. So the, the monsters are dynamically generated from three different pieces. The head, the torso, Whoa. and the legs. Oh, you must have collected something that destroyed it. I killed it, it yeah. Whoa, did you Whoa, see that? What the hell? I, good, I think I... Good weapon. I don't know what oh, happened. Oh, you lost it. Oh, that guy shoots fast. On the diagonal, anyway. Oh, God. He goes going oh, right through right him. right through him. Oh, he moved, so it got him. Oh, God. Because some of these guys have holes in them. Yeah, look at this guy, man. <laughs> I kind of like somehow hit him right in the face. <laughs> it is uh, a board. Oh, so I collect different weapons depending uh, on like the ones that I click. Okay, so that killed him. Okay. That's cool. So uh, like... The player will have a selection of weapons and power-ups at his or her disposal. Right now, only one weapon, a bouncing bullet, is implemented. This is just his first update. I, I, I've had a few different ones. The, the enemies model random damage when hit. A benefit of using variables contains sprite data. Each enemy has between two and five hit points. With one enemy, Health. when Good. one enemy is destroyed, another one will take Whoa. its place. Ooh, he's jittery, jittery dude. Yeah, dude, and it's different. I didn't, I don't remember um, fighting this a, one a before. Jittery guy, which is very cool. Yeah. I'm super into that. He's hard to, oh, he's hard to get. Well, because he's... I gotta hit him in the head, too, which is rough. I would... Do you have a bouncing? No, you just have no. a So you have to do a direct hit. Yeah. There's a lot to be done, but I wanted to share. Uh, feedback, please. Uh, Grey West. <laughs> I updated the bin. It has a lot of changes. Player can fire. Enemy can fire. It's two Whoa. different weapons. A throwing disc. Um, Elytron. And a rapid fire bullet. Okay, that so after I kill them... Oh, God. There you go. After I kill them, I get health. Player has three hit points. Green, yellow, red. So you're at yellow hit points. That's a good way to. Lot, not a lot of games use red, color to man. indicate health. It, it's cool because it's, it's just really then we don't have to have like another like. Don't have to have a number or, or a bar or anything like that. Yep. Come um, on, buddy. Come on. Stay frosty. Used something very unique. Health. For, no. For okay. Health. It hurt me. Did you see that? Oh, it's random. See, health? That always hurt. Um, I think. No, like, that one hurt me. The candy? I, I picked up. I kept, kept picked up like a health pack that, for the last guy, like this one, and it oh, hurt me. Wow. Those are weapons. The, the boxes. Yeah, those boxes are for sure weapons. So Although don't... I think, um, uh, now that I've gotten the gun, I haven't really gotten any. So I feel like oh, I feel like there's a up. hierarchy. Uh, um. So like, there's an assumption that the gun is the best. The game stops when the player has zero hit points. Robots have hit points as well. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, we know that one. A power-up for the player appears randomly. A blue box that switches weapon types. Okay, so so, so far... So a blue box, that switches your weapon. But I, I picked up many of those, and I've been with but the it just gun switches. for a long time. Oh, like, so like get it. Oh, it doesn't stay on the screen very long. It doesn't stay on the screen very long. Oh, we got you. Well, there's big ones and small yeah. boxes. So there's some health. I'll see if I can grab one, but I didn't notice. Like There's so, a big one. Uh, I mean, I was like right on top of it. That one's on a skateboard. <laughs> Rough. Oh, he picked it up. I don't think so. Uh, he just happened to touch it. So, Row up melts into a puddle when destroyed. Yeah, so I grabbed one, and it didn't do anything. Uh, at this point, I'm aiming for something like Robotron 2084 for the 2600. Green, yellow, yellow, and red. Uh, I'm trying to make up for lack of sprites with more enemy types to defeat, which is very cool. I don't think there's been a, a game that has 255 See, enemies. I don't think you got it. You just missed it. Some of them get kind of destroyed as you shoot them, which makes them harder to hit. Yeah. Which is super cool. Health. There you go. Death to the infants. 
Uh, See, nothing. Mm. Whole lot of changes. On the first time, though, it makes a big difference. There's a score that displays the number of robots you destroyed, so you've killed 20. There's an inventory icon that shows which weapon you're using, gun or throwing disc, so there are only two still. Gun or throwing disc. Yep. Power up causes a few different effects. It can change the player's weapon, it can increase the player's health, or it can instantly destroy the enemy. It can also probably decrease the health, it Possibly. seems like. Because there's a couple times I've gotten it and it's like hurt me. I mean, it might be like... A flashing door will indicate where new well, robots enter the arena, which we kind of gathered that one. Um, gives the player a chance to react. It's a nail. Uh, added enemy firing AI. Depending on the type, robot find fire randomly or towards the player, fast or slow. Um, here's one more thing. The latest version has uh, sound, which adds a lot. Yes. It oh, sound adds a is lot. like more so than important. 50%. The game isn't finished. I haven't had much time to work on it lately, but I'd like to get her back around to it. Still want to improve and tweak the enemy AI, which isn't where I want it yet. So I think it's a pretty complete game. Um, maybe it, one more type of weapon? I mean, yeah. And I you haven't been able to switch I haven't yet. been able to switch, which is not as fun, because I like, it'll be fun to bounce to go between back. the discs. Yeah. So, like, so try, try and go for those. I mean, you're totally fine. Try issue. and go for them. I have gotten them many times. And it's been get, no. it, get it, get See? it, get it, ah! get it. Ah! <laughs> you just circled it. Stay in the middle so you can... Ah, there, you got the disc back. Hey. So you can switch. That's the fine. first time in like a while, man. Jared Greywest says, I really need to fix up in the AI and some of the different robot types at some point. Disc is so They're pretty good. Fun. Have you noticed whether the robots have gotten harder? Or they're just... Kind of they're all random like because the thing is is it's also random how many like um hits they take right disc is more fun i'm not gonna lie but have they been getting harder or just random no they're random like so so see this guy for example who's gonna appear is green yeah. so that means he takes three hits right oh there's a bug you may want to collect something oh that was rough because i have my ears a i'm gonna turn that down for oh you got it Let's see you, you can uh jump in disc is definitely more cool from a mechanics uh, perspective yeah it's good um, and it's, challenging the it's thing a nice is, is it's not as it, it, ah, oh my goodness he went right through it because he kind of teleports doesn't move oh there's a bug oh it's bugging out we went through this bottom of the screen so see this guy um uh, i've started to i have to learn the colors so this is blue so it's gonna go purple green uh, yellow red whoa. so so this whoa, one takes quite a bit right versus now let's check this guy out this one's just green so this only takes uh, three hits okay so there's color hierarchy yeah so it's kind of like it they spawn with a random amount of health and it seems to be like i've fought early ones that are really easy like see there we go this right, guy's the most two. he's 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 four because oh, he's green. purple so he started purple green yellow red and then i think it's blue purple green yellow red so this guy here is green so it only takes three hits uh, okay um see yellow ah, ah. oh rapid death so, so probably a um, ramp up um, in difficulty would be good. Like yeah. start off a little easier yeah, just and have ramp like, up to a little harder. See, like like if you could like limit like uh, one to three yes. and then uh, and then two and then to four up. and like you know and limit to slow shots first from the enemies. Um, a longer time to get the power up. See that one's two, right? Yeah. Sometimes they spawn as just red which is hilarious see two and so there's no yeah now it's gonna be yeah so now it's four so green yellow red yeah longer time to get the power up see the there you go yellow red oh, yeah. Easy. and uh and then just ramp everything up that would be good so uh, you'll get the gun soonish i think it takes a while though i mean i've, been, I've been going for it though and that's why you've been well you've been picking them up and it doesn't actually make it so this is the most so I don't mind this weapon because you can. Oh, it's more fun for sure. It definitely is. Oh, it's definitely baby. like I feel like you're engaging in the mechanics. Um, I'm gonna try and get the box and get get the. Yeah. Um. Oh, oh my God! If he touches you, you're a toast. Yeah. Um. Milton Buddha says I like slow progression, and Samatari is love, then brutal hatred towards the player. It's true. <laughs> yes. Difficulty ramp is go. definitely a good idea. Yep. 
But but you can't stay too long on the easy on the easy. Yeah. And you can't go too fast. But the but the cool thing is is because it you have it built in that you can that it's a lot faster to kill people. It means you can race through the early levels a lot quicker. That's true. So like if you only have like two, let's say it's like one to two for like the first five, That's right. you'll you blast through it so fast and then near the end it's cool to have some random stuff too. So for good players they can ramp up really quick. See I just Yeah. Um, but for can, beginner players, it's a good progression. And you can have a run of a section that's one to five, so it's fully random. And then some sections that are like yeah. four to five, so you're always having to hard guys. You know, yeah. so and you could like do it like maybe the first five is one to two, then like six to ten is like one to three, and then like you know eleven to fifteen is like two to three. You know, you can slowly build it up, and then do some that's like yeah one to five, so it's just completely random maybe five levels yep. and you could have uh monsters going after health too for sure and, and i think for they can heal themselves mo uh, three or four weapons would be oh, ideal like if you had a shotgun which can only like uh, do it could do a lot of damage but like shoots like three bullets but it's very short close range exactly yeah. you know, that would be cool because that would be just just to, and i love your disc your disc is oh, cool. it's great even just weapon. that even just a shotgun the pistol and the disc would be cool because then with the shotgun you could get close and be risky Riskier, but you could kill them faster. Yeah, because if you touch them, you're dead. Because three would be the perfect number of bullets because, you know, then uh, oh. uh, you will take two hits for people who are above three and one hit for people who are below three. Mm -hmm. And or you could do it as rapid fire instead of three at once, just so that it's like, you know, oh, that yeah. way you don't have to, like, because maybe if three hit at the same time. But see, yeah, you can, like... Ah, right through his eyes. And the shotgun's like it's like super fast yeah. but like very close i mean maybe that would be overpowered might be but if you have like a burst like one two three and then you have to wait for a while one two three you have to wait for a while that would be cool something that's a bit different see the games is basically doing it now um, um although but the that's the risk exactly glad you guys are playing this one lots of good ideas i mean it's, it's so close it's, man it's, it's a, a wide open game I you're shooting this. an enemy so there's so many possibilities. And they appear. You could also do two on this screen at a certain point. I mean, that's classic. He'd have to. He'd have to start flickering. Yeah, that's that, that's the that's. Uh, well, you could keep them separate, like yeah. one in the top region, one in the lower, so that they don't overlap yeah, and start you, to flicker. You don't want to overdo it, but that would yeah. be an interesting thing. Yeah. It's, I like this game idea a lot too. I suppose yeah. so. This is really nice. Um, um, I like the green aspect that you're like. More? Oh, oh sure. I haven't died yet. So you're all good still. Oh man, I forget about this. <laughs> oh, teleporting ones are hard. Well, you the disc is just like when you're you used to, to the gun for again? a bit. Yeah. You just kind of have to. I do like the the gun is easy. Gun is better, but less fun. Yeah. That's the thing. You have to almost ask yourself like, what's more fun? Because you can have tactics with the disc. Whoa. But you have to go get it. So. God damn it. It's a good starter oh, weapon. Yeah. But I and think I love the idea that, like, if you have, like, three or even, like, five, then you it's a cool thing because when you grab them, you're like, am I going to get the disc? Am I yeah, going to get this? Yeah, it should be this? random. should be random. Definitely random. And yeah. the more options you have, I'd say five would be five. the magic number. Yeah. You could do, like, a bow and arrow. <laughs> like, you know, because not all of them need to be winners. <laughs> a, a slow but powerful shot. Yeah. A fast but not powerful, like the gun. Like a laser that's like really like fast, but it has a long recharge rate. Yes, long recharge. Yeah, you can't shoot immediately. Disc is awesome though. Disc is cool. It's not even moving. <laughs> Difficult. Stuck. I like the um, insta kill is a good one that you have there already. Yeah. That's smart. Yeah. But I'd say five like actual physical weapons that you can kind of play yeah. with. And that's the thing is they should be the range like having a bow and arrow where you're like. Now I have to fight the hordes with <laughs> arrows. Yes. Disc, arrow, gun, shotgun, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Laser. Yeah, laser. <laughs> Punching. <laughs> Punching. Uh, that's deadly in this game. <laughs> It'd be rough. You have to get too close. Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't. You know, you would, you, you don't want to. You Wait, don't want to ruin so. anybody's day. You know. <laughs> I know those big blocks seem to Whoa. hurt you sometimes, Teleport. so I don't know about Teleport. those big blocks. Whoa! Whoa! See, I'm gonna die. They're pretty close. I like to... 
the disc. Whoa, back. okay, this is gonna be rough. See, because once you've got the. <laughs> See this guy. Oh, Jesus boy. Christ. He's right on you. Oh, I didn't die. Close. That was that was definitely a candidate for death, that one. Come on! Yes! Okay. Now you're back. Ugh. The difficulty balance is not bad. No, it's not no. bad. It is it is challenging. Oh yeah, I forget about this business when this happens. Yeah, no angles. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Jitter and a fast shot. And oh, tracking. Oh. That's a that's and a hard That just, guy should be reserved for later. And then I just got the gun. Okay, cool. So that's that's good game uh, with lots of potential. Insane potential. For and that. I think the things we suggested are not really hard to implement either. No, and we just make it such a cool game. Yeah, you're just sectioning off the difficulty of monsters so that the random is between certain numbers. If you're on a level and you made a certain yeah. progression, you could be done by the score. At score twenty, you you go to this progression. Score fifty, you go to this or whatever. Yep. And then uh, also and then a couple weapons that I, look the same but just act differently. Totally. And and then and make it so that there's just a, a variety so when you grab that thing, if it's like five, there's a cool feeling of like what am I gonna get? Yes. And then even when you have your good one, you're like, I'm just gonna keep <laughs> I'm this gonna stay one. With this one. You, you know, it's and that's that's what they did with uh, uh Castlevania, right? Which was very cool. You there's had those some weapons can't kill some monsters. Oh, that would be great. That's a cool idea. So the most powerful weapon maybe can't kill some monsters, so you have to be you're forced to go back to another weapon. Oh, that would be extra intense. Because once you've got the best weapon, you don't want to switch away from it. So you have to be forced. Maybe there's to switch away. certain weapons that can only kill like the high uh, yes. colors. So and you need to like get a high color. There's, shoot there's it. games like that where it's like, "No, you have to have the most useless weapon to kill this most powerful monster." And that's the only way Man, you can kill him. You know what you should do is like every fifty levels you have like a special color that you need a special thing to, to, to wound and then it turns yeah. down. So that way it's like, you know, you get to fifty and you're like, you gotta like get the right thing and the right you... color, great combo. He's like a boss. Yeah, he's like um uh... Oh, and you should have bosses every every twenty levels or yeah. something. Yeah. That take extra hits and they're like extra tall and extra wide. Something to like feel like there's a milestone. Yeah. And that would be a cool mechanic though. Like, I don't know, like let's say what colors did he use? Blue, purple, green, um, yellow and red. And have one. So more. what would be another color? Um white, um uh, green? No. No, he's That's already done green. that. Um Pink. I'm an idiot. Yeah, pink. Know. Why not? You know what I mean? Like something. It's not, not the Something coolest to differentiate. Color. But yeah, and then it's like you need a special thing. A special to, weapon. To, to wound or... the pink. Then that turns to like... Or you have to shoot him in the special shot. Like his head only. Yeah. That kind of thing. Anyway, all that shit. Anything like that would be really fun. So, yeah, he says they're all totally doable suggestions. Yeah, they're all pretty... I, pretty I'd say the, the most important would be yeah. having a yeah. boss, something boss. so you feel like this you've hit a milestone. Because yes. you think about Galaga, that's the cool thing about Galaga is you yeah. have these challenge levels. So you sort of... Like, I've made it to challenge one. I made now, it to challenge this one would be two. like, I made it to boss number three. Yeah, because right now that is the tough thing about any horde mode type game, which is what you're, you're, you're riffing yeah. on. You need is, to work towards something. Yeah, it feels like, oh, I'll just play this forever. And just You know, it's... it's yeah. Dan ABC says, I'm still here. We'll watch the other two games on YouTube. That's Let's okay, man. That's why come we come in and out. It's all good. There. That's why we archive it. I'm so stoked to play like an updated version of this. I love this idea. Yes. I love the feel of this. A lot of potential. Um, dude, just like throwing some new weapons, um, even just like just some five new random weapons. Yeah. Totally different game. Yeah. Boss is totally different game. It is. Yeah. And slightly scalable. Totally. And scale up the, the enemies. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing I was gonna say too, another random idea is like everyone loves in like Mario where you get like a star, you know, so you get like an invincibility, invincibility yes. for like a period of time, and that would be, and it's like maybe, or you could have like a rapid fire machine gun that only lasts a period. Yeah, that's right. Just, like, Temporary <laughs> weapon, and then it disappears. I mean, like, there must be like a list somewhere in the internet of like every idea that games have included. Yeah. You know, there's always this an ice level and a. That's right. In an underwater level, but like a weapon list. It's like these are the standard weapons for every game, and this is how they act. And yeah, so yeah, uh, was listening in. Uh, saw a bit of Horde, sort of like Robotron. Yeah, very much, except very few characters on the screen because Robotron is a billion yeah. on the screen. This is my kind of game, Jared West. Yeah. So good stuff. Obviously, the first game off the top, Galaga, unbelievable, well, mind blowing, is... incredible. In all in all, all the dramatic ways, all the, the setup, the everything. <laughs> yeah, it's just how it 
came off and his his ability to make top notch ports is is beyond in no anything. time. Then. Yeah, in a month and a half he made Galaga. It's crazy, dude. A, a game nobody thought could be done possible. Yeah, possibly done. Uh, Shield Shifter it's, needs a bit of work. Need needs some additions to because it's just too easy. It's too easy. Like yeah. you can play forever. Oh, totally. That with, needs. But some... with a couple things like faster enemy shots as it progresses. Um, the two player mode's a good two idea. Two ships, fucking zoom yep. in. That yeah, would make add another ship. If you had a double bullets, double ship would totally ruin our lives. That would be so <laughs> yep. hard. Or a rain of bullets, like a, a, a stream of them instead of one. <laughs> the only thing I hate about Atari Twenty Six Hundred games is the overabundance of nudity. <laughs> it's too much nudity. Look yeah. at this guy. This yeah. is he's no clothes. Our children are playing this game. It's a travesty. And it should be stopped. Where is we the government to step in? We need to shame sexuality because that's going to set you up for a happy life. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that's the, the Catholic way. <laughs> and the third game, The Horde, a great game. Good start. Um, it just needs more. More of a good thing. Yeah. More stuff. More um, variety. And you're good. But so close it's to being good... amazing. Yeah, yeah. Really, really close. Random, Random terrain. terrain. Welcome, RT, RT, man. Hey. Yep. I, we are blessed with Random Terrain. He has a great um, uh, kind of manual for really? learning to, uh, to program 2600 Thanks, games. Man. Uh, he has a website that collects a lot of knowledge all together. So, yeah, he's go definitely visit his website. Internet's and, amazing. And, and check it out. Yep. <laughs> Need help. I Need Ballard help. Season. Did you end Poor up, Mallard did, season. Still. Mallard, did you ever get your uh, uh, Atari age uh, <laughs> no. thing yet, man? I want to know. No. Let us know when that happens. Last, it was yes. the last week. You were like, "Hey, man." Yeah, I'm it's been to... going for two weeks, and he still hasn't had his. Um, there it is, Atari oh, basic Random commands. Terrain. Atari thanks, Bidet. dude. Yeah, thanks for that link. Yeah, everybody, go check out his website, randomterrain.com. Tons of amazing links on there for you to help you learn. Uh, to program for the 2600 and just learn more about you it. You answered too. before, but everyone was busy with God. Sorry about that. Tell us oh, again. We're sorry, really. We busy. were so overwhelmed. Did you man. get in? Did, did it happen? Let us did, know. Did you make it in? Are you part of the yeah, collective we now? Yeah, we, we definitely had less uh, 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 chat looking. And Atari made it in last Snuck second. Snuck in at the Ma last minute. He activated it, but. Made a cameo, but. Mallard. <laughs> Why is the dots? This is what we deserve for teasing. People. Oh, I had multiple accounts. Oh, well, then use the other account. Ah. Use the one he activated it. I see, man. Well, shouldn't use, shouldn't try multiple accounts. I guess he did because he couldn't get one activated, so he tried to log in. Yeah, that's right. Tried rough. to activate a second one, so, so I guess you rename it. Oh, okay. Well, at least you're in. You're, you're, you got you're your, functional. I'm now. happy that that's sort of working out. I'm yeah. sorry that there's Still dumb bureaucratic roadblocks <laughs> in every aspect in life. Yeah, but it happens. It happens. So, thanks for tuning in. Obviously, a milestone in, in Zero Page Homebrew. And for Atari 2600 oh my Homebrew. God, yeah, now man. that another port has been conquered. And I'm so sorry that conquered. you guys had to follow Galaga. The, the, yeah. Because I know, James, if he knew what that was, oh he totally God. would have programmed it as the last but, game. Um, well, uh, no. Because uh, that would be too much of a suspense. But I would... No, but if we'd known what the game was... I would have wiped the slate clean, probably. Clean, or programmed like something quick and then did it, just because yeah. um, it's a hard thing to end on but this is a cool it's one a, to end on too it's I, yeah. it's kind of like back to to to, to me this one of the core bases of zero yep. page homebrew which is just testing early games and giving like, suggestions and seeing yep. them progress i would love love yeah. love to play this game um as you know even w one of those suggestions yeah would upgrade would, it so would, much and so like if you did like two or three things you'd be a completely different game and i like this this is fun like yeah. i and, e and, even in its form and Jared Gray West is a very active programmer, so I can see him doing that very quickly, and we could uh, and revisit this again. And he said they were again. all like um, doable, which is which amazing. Which is really good to hear. Atari's marketing said, "I'm the only home console you'll need." Kind of true. true. It is. It's the only one I play. No, I play PS4 and a whole bunch of other ones. <laughs> yeah, I play well. mostly PC now. Yeah, yeah, I it's very to, convenient. I used to do PlayStation. I had an Xbox 360 for years. Yep, me too. Um, but then I just it kind of stopped mm. coming out with games. So I was it, like, well, yeah. Yeah, it's a lifespan of, you know, five to seven years usually. Yeah. This one had a lifespan of 1977 to 91. Wow. So that's crazy. 14 years. It's one of the longest 
active lifespans of any console out there. Yeah. Because it was so manipulatable, as you can see Galaga is now on yeah. it. <laughs> and, um, I, and part of the reason why I like PC games is there's huge modding communities for games. It's yes. really nice to be able to, to, like, after you've beaten a game, to sort of try out different mods, and even just graphical mods to improve, like, environments is cool. And I also like that you can do third-party plugins to help yeah. you out. Yeah. Like, the game the game that I play most consistently, there's, like, five plugins that I use to Jeez. make things in the game yeah. easier. They're on not... The P- on the PC, that's that's such a big bonus yeah. that you can, you can change the game. Well, there's an entire economy, so the problem is, is, like, you have to, like, be able to quickly search through the economy to like assess whether what something's worth so i like pc games for that because it's like it's there's it's but that's more like i'm hanging out at like a station doing like nine things at once it's the a different pc i don't i don't play pc games mostly one because it's <laughs> you don't get a cartridge you don't get a disc anymore it's true they can pull it they can change it they can update it you don't have a final version ever yeah and they can shut down the store you accidentally wipe your computer and you don't have that game anymore it's gone and you'd either have to turn to piracy or nothing you just yep. do without it and with the 2600 um there's cartridges and it's forever like we're still playing games from the uh early 80s yeah, and if the the attitude of today with virtual gaming and and it just poof, disappears, all those games would be gone, and oh, yeah. you wouldn't be able to play them. Um, but there's obviously there's um, it's great bonuses. Yeah, um, distribution is quick. You can update bugs right away. Yeah, but of course that leads to lazy programming. I think quite a bit and rushing it out where it should be in beta and they actually release yeah. the games like we'll fix it in post you know we're gonna fix it later give us your money now so we can continue development and also the add-ons lead to microtransactions which gets a little greedy after a while oh, yeah so they scale down the actual game to sell it to you later when it should have been maybe included and there's, there's some in that are downright game. criminal and then there's some yeah. that are like oh you know just some new skins. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. Uh, you know. They're just skins, and they're they're just bragging rights. Yeah. And they don't affect the game. I'm t- I'm fine with that. Who cares? That's that's. Fine. Yeah. Um. The one that I play is nice because it it updates. Like they actually give new content. They've been doing new content like every six months for like since they that's made it for five cool. years. So it's cool because it almost it's it's a constantly evolving process, which yeah. is just wild. But it's like. But the, but but that's a but a PC game is a much more involved thing. You're sort of sitting in front of the computer, like playing your keyboard like a piano. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's doing very all, complex. Doing lots of research is a different thing. It's kind of like I think uh, I kind of hate it too because there's a part <laughs> of me that's like, dude, if I were to just not do this, there'd be I could spend so much time doing other things. <laughs> yeah, but, the, but, but you enjoy it. So but that's, that's also that's, like everyone needs a hobby. Like you need downtime too. Yeah, dude. which that can coincide. Hobby equals downtime yeah. sometimes. The joke though is that like my downtime is like researching random numbers and like you know what i mean it doesn't sound like downtime it's yeah. actually like almost it you know it's it, it's so involving that you're like man i should just sit and <laughs> not yeah. chill not not get obsessed with so thanks game. for tuning in to the yeah, show man. everyone big show um i'm gonna just name off some people who are still around here at the end mallard season jared gray west ice bosta Random Terrain, Impaler 26, uh, Dan ABC, Militant uh, Buddhist, Tif, 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 Tifos, Tifos, Dan uh, ABC, um, there's some that we, uh, some that came in like it was yeah, Fast man. and Furious, Splendid Nut, Bostros, Bostros Proto Man, K. some of these people I don't, no. I don't know man, I knew that some new I, people would come in, Wayne Ian Dot. Norris, 1976, a Johnny W. C. Little joke and pie on. Oh no! That's clue. definitely a different language. <laughs> it is definitely a different. That's language. definitely Sir Nordic. Cat Legs, the audio guy. Yeah, awesome. Sir Cat Legs. Nathan man. Strom, uh, graphics guy. It was the random terrain. I think we already said that. Of course, but... Johnny W. C. Twenty three. John yeah, Champo. Russ twenty six. Uh, man, it's huge. Yeah, lots of talking today. So that is arena foot. The end of my buffer and spiceware. Adds his right. name in right at the end. Uh, great That's show. That's okay, man. Check him out on YouTube. Yeah, they're all available on YouTube. That's why we archive it, because, you know, 
it depends where you live and what you're doing on a Wednesday and Friday. And so that's why we archive it. So thanks for tuning in, Spice War. And the real OZYR, not the fake one. No, not yep. to be confused with yeah, these, these the fake OZYR. And uh, on Friday's show, we're going to be playing two exclusive games. Uh, Kung Fu Combat, the final release of it. Uh, Nabber Rob, the exclusive release mm. of it. No, it's not out there. It's only on cartridge. Um, so we, we have the, the binary for that. And uh, Strip Off 2, which was the prequel to the game we just played, Shield Shifter. Um, and then on next Wednesday, we're wrapping it up for a little bit while I'm off to New York to show my premiere of my film. Um, so if you live in New York, come check out uh, my film. It's at Times Square AMC Theatres. That's right. It's called The Perfect 14. Don't know if anybody lives in uh, New York, but uh, drop me a line and I can... Yeah, dude. Just go to a, a perfect14.com and has all the details there on the, sh on the screening. Um, so on May 22nd, the Wednesday before I take off, we're going to play Halo 2600. That's Big right. game. I don't know why I didn't cover it before, but... That's okay, man. Um, we're going to be I'll, playing... I'll tell you some Halo lore while we do it. Because I have not ever played... The shit there is a strip games. off one but i read strip off two is just the same but more so um it's not related to shield shifter but i read on the thing that it says it's the sequel to strip off <laughs> anyway um and we're gonna be playing space game as the homebrew homebrew tournament round three so let's see if my winning streak continues i won't because that is a hard game we'll see but man. it is a space shooter and I'm not bad at we'll them. We'll see. Yeah, we'll Is see. that on a day that I'll be here? Yes. I can, okay, I'll try, to, I'll try to help you with some uh, uh, tactics. techniques. Yep. So you watch. I'll play. We'll get some tactics going. That's right, man. I'll probably do maybe one or two, but we'll let you play mostly. Yep. And we'll figure out a way to... And then we'll be back after the break on June 19th with two exclusive Uno Kart games that have never been released, not even talked about. Ooh. So that's really exciting. And, uh, and then the 12 hour marathon at the end of June. Just and uh, that's it. You want to say, come in and say goodbye? I'm just going to sit here. Sure. Yeah, okay. And there's Tanya coming in to say goodbye. Let's see if you're on the screen. <laughs> nope. There you are. There's your head over top. Um, so thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, we'll see you on Friday. And you'll see this guy next Wednesday at 11 a.m. Oh, and we'll be wow. back on Friday at 12 p.m. noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Uh, GMT. So bye-bye, everyone. See you next time. Thanks bye -bye. for tuning in. <laughs>